Er, I knew I was forgetting something. But then, <laughs> um, but then I saw y'all saying Phil's late man. <laughs> so I've got to do it. I'm going to do it now. Oh, I need to make an Instagram story. I forgot again. A lot of stuff on the table today. We're making coffee. What are you making coffee today? Hee <laughs> hee. People are shy. Um. Always forgetting the Insta story. Say hi. You're on camera. <laughs> the weird sheriff man. Oh my gosh. Uh, I cry. Yo, oh hi, I'm not here. Hi, not here. I'm dad. Are you at home today? Yo, cards and quarters, welcome back. Hi, L. Hi, Spivers. Hi, Tim again. Hi, Weird Kid. Hi, Spivy. Hi, Sleevy. Hi, Gomani. Hi, Go Mint. <laughs> Theo, what's good? I haven't said hi to you in the last two streams, I think. Feels bad. Partially. Oh. Oh. Hi, Josephine. Hi, Kenneth. Hi, guys. Colonel Sanders tipped 420. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yo, Brad, how's it going? How's the mic, by the way? I just changed it this morning. Thank you for saying hi, weird kid. Colonel Sanders, are we ready? After I make coffee, we're going to finish the KFC game. And then we're going to play a Maple Story today with, with, um, with Mish. <laughs> oh my gosh, CG. <laughs> you keen or you keen? Um, Spivy, aren't you busy today? It's your last day. Our true love, yo, police brutality, what's good? I'm doing good, Brad. How are you? Thank you. The keyword is aesthetic. Pause champ. My son made it. <laughs> CG. Saw, saw that don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Richard Vuvi. Wow, Vuvi. Imagine. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a selfie with you guys. Wait, how do I get, how do I get the coffee in the scene? Okay. Today we're making coffee. We've got our coffee set up. And we're also going to be playing KFC Dating Simulator. We're going to finish it off. And then we're also going to be playing Maple Story. Come join us. All right. <laughs> Everybody smile. Okay, all right. Uh, how do I do this? I don't know how to Instagram. Uh, I have to put a link. Twitch.tv slash hazy. Okay. Am I pointing to it? I'm so I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I, I literally, I was pointing to my Twitch activity feed, which is on the left-hand side of my screen, rather than pointing to chat, which is on the other side. I would try not to disobey the rules. Bless you. Bless you. Hope you got my good side. Yo, Koopy! Noonie! Hello! Hi, cutie pies. All the cuties. Hello, Insta people. Thought you died here yeah, for a sec. No, 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 no. Mike seems good. Being a podcaster now, yeah. Yeah. They gave me um they gave me this mic a while ago, but I haven't had the opportunity to test it. So I thought today while I'm not singing, this is a good opportunity. Oh, waiting for train. We're we're about. It's in town hall. Pause champ. I'm so stupid. We do have Keck Q. We do. Composion, hi, welcome back. I'm doing well, Nuni. I'm doing all right. I have a little bit of an upset stomach and I don't know why. Came for the music state for how to post on IG. No, ma. 
Welcome back to our um, Friday hang days together, where we chill and just hang out together. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your stay today. It's gonna be cozy. Um, thanks for keeping us com each other company. Yo, Dom, your your mic actually slaps. Good to know you use the same. You're using the same one. We do have Kek Q. I finally bought a kitchen scale. It was one of those like unnecessary purchases where I walked past things that I didn't need and I ended up buying. <laughs> I did, I did, Raina. I watched it the day after it released. I couldn't watch it on the day, but Matt and I, I we binged it the day after and it was insanity. Hi, Mark, how's it going? Yo, Manuman, welcome back. It is, it's a, it's just a, it's just a, a scale, like a food drink scale. Poach eye pills. What are some po? What are what are poach eye pills? Don't think I know it. Let me look it up. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The brown stuff, the brown like beads. You know, as a kid, I was always like. I don't know what this is, but my parents are feeding it to me, so sure. Scott, hi, why would you need a way kitchen? I don't know what it's called. Hi, flower. Love the color, thank you. It was between this or black and yeah. Now you know the way, oh my God. Is that gonna solve my problems? Flower, did you end up sleeping well yesterday? Um, We're gonna make the coffee first. I haven't been using a proper scale for a very long time. Um, because I haven't made coffee in a very long time. And also, um, I've not, uh, like, I've just been eyeballing it. So today we're going to be doing proper measurements. <laughs> because, yes, because we should be. Um, oh, thank you for the hype trade, Joala, hello. You found me through an emote? I feel like a couple of people do. Flippies, hi, Zach, hi. Hi, Peanuts. Hello. And what improper scale you used, Imperial? Hey, I know, very adulty. Um, uh, pour over beans, wait, mindful bees. Yo, welcome back. Oh my gosh, how did your stream go? Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Haley. The hive is all right. I love it. I love it. The emotes are fantastic. I'm glad you think so. Hi, how did your stream go? Thank you so much for bringing your friends over. Polar Express, thank you so much for the follow. Hello, my name is Hayley. I'm an Australian. Uh, I'm from Australia. <laughs> so stupid. Why do I say just dumb things? I'm an Australian from Australia. Um, and... Um, <laughs> And I'm typically a music streamer, but today we're going to be chilling, which like our Friday streams are usually quite chill. So we're going to be finishing off our KFC dating simulator. Yes, you heard that right, KFC dating simulator. We're also gonna be uh, making some coffee because my Friday rituals are usually making coffee with you guys first. Um, it's going good. I love me some chill vibe streams. I'm glad, I'm glad. The, yeah, the, we're, we're gonna finish it off. We we mostly finished it the other day. Thank you so much for the hype train. Thank you, Saf. Um, it is actually quite warm here in Sydney. Thank goodness. You missed the ritual. So did I. I couldn't drink coffee for some time. Rexy, welcome back for 15 months. Today we're going to be Breath of the Wild streamer. Dude, I wish. I wish. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, but what if I did that? What if I learned the ways? But there's just too much. I was watching Lim and I was like, speedrunning is too five head for me. <laughs> you feel like some coffee now? Yo, Raylad, welcome back. Tried to spoil myself with cold foam espresso. Whoo, sounds good. I can't not wait to watch you romance Colonel Sanders brows, brows. Um, let us know what snacks you end up getting when you get back. How are you doing, streamer? I'm doing okay, Flower. I'm a little bit, my stomach is a little bit upset and I don't know why. 
Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it just passes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to ignore the pain and distract myself, but I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know if I ate something wrong. Wait, Noonie, what did you say? What did what, you say? Gold cult? Oh, I can get a sleepy cult. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> KFC dating sim, yeah. Ooh, Zinger Crunch Burger. Lovely, lovely. Oh, <laughs> I'm 24. I'm 24. Okay. Um, uh, for one mug. Eighteen grams. For one cub? That's a lot! How many- how much is eight ounces? Who uses ounces? Oh wait, Americans use ounces, right? Oh wait, I did that wrong. Uh, okay, okay. So I need like 14 grams of coffee. Eight ounces is like a can of Coke, right, right. 30 grams for half a liter? I'm actually 40, true. Yeah. Hope your tummy likes the coffee then. Thank you, flower. Send me luck. I can't wait till I'm 24. <laughs> really generous throwing everybody off. What is happening? Hi, son. We're making coffee. My Westgate outlaw. Hi, friend. Yeah, yeah, that's that's okay, Josephine. Enjoy your dinnies. Enjoy your dinnies. We speak soon, okay? We speak soon. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need another cup to... Actually, no, firstly, we need to boil the coffee. Boil the coffee, boil the water. So I've got my, I've got my water ready to go on my fellow, um, on my fellow mug. I mean, pff. guys, I can't speak today. I can't speak today. Um, boiling water in my fellow kettle. Far out. That was way harder than it needed to be. That was way harder than it needed to be. Sultan, hello. Oh, hygiene, hygiene things, sparkles, oh, sparks, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, alien words. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, oh, go money, but it's go real money. <laughs> Hi, Nada, how are you? How are you? I don't know, alien words is just, oh my gosh. From California. We're heading to California at the end of the year. Um, Mum has now booked flights. So, very exciting. Very, very exciting. I prefer hot, hot chocolate to coffee. And you prefer tea to coffee, right? <laughs> Keaton, hi! I hope it's cosy. I, ho I hope we at least get... Um, allow you to fall. You don't like tea? That is unexpected. Do you like juices? Oh my gosh. I'm not vibing this song. <laughs> that didn't feel like coffee house jazz to me. Once the water boils, outlaw, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. You know who likes tea? Who? Who, Tazil? Welcome back. Oh my gosh, of course, Rexy's like, yes, the Shrek ears! <laughs> Bloody hell, Tarsil! Are you serious? Ain't no way. <laughs> Boop. For, on Fridays, we don't wear the headphones. So you have the Shrek ears in all the glory. I hope Taiwan is fun, Saf. 
um, Arim Saf. Arim? Arim? Oh, Arim. Arim Saf. No T? What about Tussain's? What's that? Oh my gosh! <gasps> Vanellica! Hello! Why do people need sleep? Because it's your body telling you that you're not invincible. Facts. We get hungry because our body tells us we're not invincible. We get tired because our bodies tell us that we need rest. Nodders, nodders. Best cult leader. <laughs> 2022. Facts. Facts. <laughs> no. Wait, did you miss it last time as well, Nunu? It was really fun. Did you eventually get to uh, that ride to the plans you had early in the week? I have been up all night wondering. Um, I think so. I think Mish was the one that drove me. Yeah. Maybe you'd be invincible. Okay, okay, Rexy. Didn't ask to get attacked. <laughs> oh, it's your blues. Why are you like this? I got a new plushie and it's pretty on brand. Is it another penguin? Sunflower, do you maybe think you have too many penguins? <laughs> JK, there's never too, too many penguins. It's so cute. All right, the water's finished boiling. Vanilla, have a good lurky. No, Noonie, it was so fun. It was so fun. And then we'll probably play, yeah, we'll play Maple Story afterwards with with mesh all right so i need to get another glass and then um i'm going to i i purposely left the pour over outside so that i could bring the boiled water outside to um like wet the wet the filter paper but this one oh it's a flower cute pickies where i want to see pickies Wait, so it's, wait, wait, wait. So it is actually a penguin, but it's a penguin with a flower. <laughs> yeah, Maple Story with Mish. Dude, it was like 22 gigabytes of updates. Ain't no way. Oh, my head. All right, so, oh, is Dean here? Hi, Dean. Mia, thank you. Thank you for lurking. Appreciate it. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn this mic up so that it faces more towards me. Fruits for sale. Oh, we've got peach, mango, apple, strawberry, melon, pog you. Oh, I'll keep you in the background as I work. Okay, okay. Miss you heaps. Work well. Oh, time to pack up. <laughs> um, Aram, have a wonderful lurk. Thanks for being here. Okay. So we need about 14 grams of this. Any life updates? Anyone wants to to share while we're here? Lord Chibi is back, by the way. Oh, so many mic sounds. Oh, could you hear a lot of mic sounds? My bad. Nuni, you'll be very, very missed. Sleep well and take care. We will speak soon. Your update is that I'm amazing. Why, thank you. Don't know if I agree with that, but thank you. My last day of unemployment. Wait, already? And then you move on to the work that you potentially might come to Sydney for. Is that right? So one about 14 grams. 
Oh, that's 15. That's all right. Maybe, maybe we'll take a little bit out. I don't, I don't need it too strong. We're still easing our way back into it. All right. I also bought like a massive bag of beans from Industry Beans. So I can't wait to test those beans out, especially for batch brew. Scale off. No, I haven't gotten the coffee grinder yet. I actually, I meant to ask Lim about what coffee grinder he uses because he said the one that he bought has been highly recommended to him from other people. Any updates? Potentially have an update next week. Ooh la la, onions on sale, onions on recall, Joshua. <laughs> yeah any any other life updates i got a new job my brother got married that is very exciting that's very exciting i'm still sick dude yeah please take it easy it's not it's not covid right should definitely should definitely take it more easy Only had a week between gigs, dare. That's short. People usually take like three or so weeks, hey. Two, three weeks, at like at least two. Um, start with the Sydney mob on Monday, but I don't need to go yet there yet. Dang. Let me know when you and the fam come over. This is a lot of beans for one cup. I didn't know it took this many things for one cup. Have I been measuring it wrong the whole time? Also this, to be fair, I guess this pour over is smaller than my normal one. This is coffee ASMR, yes. Hi, Octave. Welcome back. Welcome back, friend. We're gonna let it bloom. For 40 seconds. I believe it was 40 seconds from memory. It's going to focus. No, it doesn't need to focus. It's okay. Oh, it's gonna keep trying to focus to my face, hey? Alright. Yeah, what we focus on next? It's because it keeps trying to focus on my face, which is like fair enough. But yeah. Ooh, enjoy lunchies, Kenneth. Right. It goes from the face with a bit of grain or whatever. It's, um, it's wheat. Wheat? Hey? No, it's wheat. Have a good look, Aram. Oh, yes! Yes, please, I want to see it flower. Thank you so much. Take care, my sweet. Peepa hug, peepa pat. Um, Aram, sounds good, sounds good. Scott, what are you up to today? It's time for our favorite game. You mean KFC? KFC dating simulator. Oh gosh, that was louder than I remember. Okay. <laughs> Octave, how have you been? The keyboard stole the show true. Oh, go money, see you soon. Morning shots. I don't want it to overflow. Okay, now we're safe for a while. It's not Mario. Oh, <laughs> sleepy with the lost again. M4, coffee maker, pro coffee maker too. Hi, M4, people shy. How was your day? I was thinking about you yesterday. Did you manage to make it to Gibby's stream? I didn't, I didn't get to make it. Oh wait, no, it wasn't a stream, I think. I think he was saying he was gonna stream um, thingy on Discord. Um, 
uh, stream Omegle on Discord, and I was like, oh, I wonder if M4 is going to be there, Pippo Shy. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure how that went. work for me so it's a chill day i'm glad scott that sounds so cozy 404 mod cringe not found true yo you went to disneyland how was it so i've been to hong kong disneyland once and i just think like i don't know if i'm just lame i'm just like yeah like a super lame hermit but like people were saying oh if you're just like you know if you're in california and you're passing by la you should totally check out disneyland and my dad was doing like research for places he was like you up for going to disneyland and i was like to be honest not really <laughs> ricky hi uh i am not married i'm not married no but i do i am i do have a partner oh sam's back but you um um did you go get dinner i can't remember Disneyland is much better during a lockdown when it's relatively empty. Right. Is it back to normal now? Yeah, M4, of course. I think about you guys a lot in case you haven't already been able to tell. I tell you guys, oh my gosh, I was thinking about you recently. Oh, I pretty much nearly filled a, a cup. Oh, Monka, sorry. Knocked you guys over. I actually think that's too much liquid, but we shall see. <laughs> I do think about you a lot, true. I do think about you guys a lot. Melty! Welcome back! Melty, is it just me? I feel like I feel like I see you a lot on my Friday streams when I'm doing gaming. Hi! You were eating? What did you eat? The people fat emotes so good. I love it. I, I think I read Disneyland is more expensive now than it's ever been. Hell no. Girl, thanks for letting me know. Ain't no way I'm going. Not that I'm like massively interested in it anyway. You just choose random. I feel like it's mostly Fridays, which depending on where you are is a Thursday. Um, I think I'm quite happy with the amount. Oh, Monka. Accidentally, a little bit of spillage. Whoops. <laughs> All right, is it Colonel Sanders time? I'm not married, good sir, but I'm spoken for. <laughs> May as well be that. May as well be that. Uh, I'm probably here more in ends of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff aside. I think, uh, let's let that just drip on its own there. Clean that up later. <laughs> because cannot be bothered. <laughs> All right, and, and I shall also bring the, the hay back outside later. Uh, it's definitely a Thursday night, pog you, pog you. Oh, for it to be Friday for you guys. It's Friday soon. Friday soon. Okay. I don't know what the mic sounds it's having. Does it? Does it? Oh, you can. You can hear it. I see. When I'm like twisting it and stuff. Okay. Why does everything look so tiny near the camera? This mic ASMR is no no bueno, no bueno. Really? Oh well, it's a it's a thirty five mil lens, I believe. Is it time? I'm really excited. Thank you for joining me for the the coffee making segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, it's time to drink. Got my little coaster here. The coffee mug and beans look like a little adorable toys. Oh yeah. 
Well, to be fair, this, this packet's like nearly done, so maybe that's why it looks smaller. I am deeply for It's gonna change soon. It's gonna change next month. Good morning, Mish. Did you just wake up? I've got my Nexon launcher ready to go. Except we're going to be finishing off dating Colonel Sanders first. <laughs> and then you happy to jump on a Discord call? Then we can play. Oh, long time no see. Oh, were you guys chatting before? Imagine, imagine. Headman's up, thank you. Tarsiel, naughty, started all of this. A lot of it was waiting in line simulator. <laughs> you reckon? Wait, so you've played it? <laughs> Tarsiel. So imagine being a founder at Mins. I'm jealous. All right. It smells very rich. Actually, it tastes about right. That tastes about right. Honestly, it tastes more like the coffee that I have outside than I make at home. I feel like I make it a little bit too watery at home. Mmm, that's good. Smells like me. <laughs> Richard. Richard Plocks. <laughs> oh, wait, Salted? Where's Salted going? Oh, I'm like, welcome back. We were chatting for like a minute ago, but to have a bit of why. Oh, crew? Actually, the good morning, not the good night this time. People are shy. Hi, crew. Can you please pay for my min's overlay commission as well? Pog you. But hanging with Ren made it better. Nice. Nice, you. Nice, you. Sleepy best mod for real or find me, Dom. Hey, I don't think Dom's fighting. <laughs> I think he's in total agreement. Really just exposing what we guys talking about, Siaj. Oh, you said rich. I just got that. Keck you. Do the face again. I missed the screenshot. What face did I make? <laughs> Hi, Chrissy. I gave all my money to Mins. Was it like a donor goal type thing? Are you, wait, you're actually paying for um, for Johnny's overlay, right? Are you going to stay in San Diego for an entire trip? No, 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 no. So oh, I need to get my laptop for when I open Colonel Sanders. Um, uh, talking about you, wow, imagine. So the plan is we're going, oh, okay. Geography is really, really bad. So please bear with me if I've got the order mixed up. We're starting at San Diego and we're doing the three day of the convention. Yo, Randy, how's it going? <laughs> and then I will be going up to, we're just gonna keep moving up basically. So up to LA, I wanna say, is that right? And then Potentially stop at Santa Barbara? Or is it the other way around? And then eventually we're just gonna like keep traveling up to L. No, not LA, I'd already said that. To San Fran? Is that right? And then we're leaving in San Fran. Yeah. Said to Barbara, I'm like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. To the North Pole. <laughs> Santa go everywhere in America. Oh my gosh, what is that Sindri fast emo? That's so cute. Come on, kick you locked and loaded for your terrible geography. Oh my gosh. Oh, so bad. So bad. No one yeah, we're not going we're not going to Florida. We're not going to Florida. Yeah. I'm not going to Canada, unfortunately. I wanted to. And she's already lost. <laughs> Yikes. Can you sew my arm so I can get it as a tattoo? You bet. You bet. Not stopping at Florida, yeah. Santa Man is super close to you. Oh, <gasps> Stefalo. 
I did get the right noise. I am not going to Disneyland. I'm not going to Disneyland. I'm not really interested. I've been as a kid and like, I think I'm not as into Disney characters. So yeah. Though on the other hand, if there were some anime themed theme park, sign me up. Like, see, that's a different story. That was a lot of sand. Actually, that was. It's true. It's true. Is your partner better with geography than you are? No. Also bad. Also bad. <laughs> he's better at, like, roads because he's driven around a lot. Who knows his roads? But as for geography, I don't think he's as good. I, I, I think he's just as bad. Sunil, welcome back for three months. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. No, Dom, you hate this, right? Oh, no, you always do this, but except on the table. Like, you always tap on the table. I was like, oh, is someone going to get annoyed if I do this? Thank you so much for using your prime on me this month. Welcome back. Yeah, we've checked it up. Uh, is someone driving all the way? Yeah, no, no, no. Um, my So it's just going to be my dad, mum, and I. Um, brother is not going to be coming with because he eventually said, nah, I probably need to study. So my dad's going to be driving the whole way. Louisa, hi, I'm doing well. How have you been? That's why you're there with me. Wait, Mish, are you good at, you good at geography? Our locations? I don't know if Scott is here, but let him know when, he's, when he is here. I've never been to Disneyland. I was supposed to go for grad night in 2020, but Rona ruined it for me. No, I want to know from you guys, what did the coronavirus in 2020 stop you guys from doing? Did you have a trip planned? Was there a concert that you were really looking forward to that you had to pass out on because it got canceled? What did coronavirus like? Yeah. Stop something from happening. I for one could not graduate. Um, because of coronavirus. Yeah. Uh, I have a serious problem with tapping with things. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, Ryan not going, yeah, wasn't it meant to be last year? Uh, yeah, I know, it was, go money, it was. No, we're not driving all the way to America. We're not gonna swim over, over the seas. Um, we are getting a car from LA and driving down to San Diego. That's the plan. And I think we just keep the car the whole time. I think. And we are actually driving to San Diego, but not from, for, not from Sydney, CG. Proposing, nanny. <laughs> Direction's the only thing I'm good at that I'll boast about. Oh, Pog, you, Pog, you noted. Stop me, stop me getting accepted for a PhD for reals? What did you apply for? Research, what area of research should you apply for? I didn't have a trip planned, but I wanted to plan a trip. Okay, no graduation ceremony, yeah, imagine, imagine. I was supposed to go back to Hong Kong like permanently or just to visit. I missed my last three years of uni handball. Was your injury during COVID or just before COVID? Um, oh man, I had a trip planned for Seoul. Ah, and then Busan, ah, and then finally Jeju. Oh my God, I cry for you, Keaton. That sounds... That sounds like it would have been so good. Spending time with family after coming back home since Hobbs was in the military and he got out. Sadly, only had several months with his maternal grandparents before they passed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that, Louisa. Um, I hope I hope your family is doing okay now. Oh, you were meant to see Electric Forest, but they rescheduled. Yeah, a couple of a couple of things that I wanted to go to. Mark, uh, is it Rebelle? I never know how to pronounce his name. Or Rib, Rebelle. Uh, yeah, I was meant to see him live. I don't know whether I got my tickets refunded or they just postponed it. I think I think it was just postponed, but unsure when to. Um, I'm seeing Tom Mish soon. So hopefully that doesn't get cancelled. Car rental prices are wildly expensive. Melty, I'm not even surprised, but like, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're overseas. Because there's just like, no way we're spending money on that many flights and like public transport just takes way too long. But yeah. 
drive across the Pacific? Wait, Dad, did you not know? 2021 was meant to be travel and pro... Well, uh, yeah, question mark, dodged a bullet there, question mark. Oh, I don't know what to say that I son, dude. A bog face. Dude, that's rough. I'm crying inside for you, son. Oh my God. Also, I've already had comments on the keyboard today. I've son i swear like at least once every stream or every few streams someone will make a comment on the keyboard <laughs> getting track son getting giving you traction i thought my comp froze my face my face just froze where were you meant to travel to as in travel propose overseas you're coming to LA? I am going to LA. Oh my gosh, I already, I just said this before and now I've forgotten. Yes, I am coming to LA. Oh, just visit. Oh, to renew residency. And so what happened? What happened? Did it expire? Tasio? Oh my gosh, you're watching the boys. I still need to watch. Ah, an episode must have come out today as well because it comes out every Friday. I have missed last week's episode. I've been itching to watch it, but no time, literally no time to just sit down for two hours and watch it. It's so, so busy. Uh, during, like we started practicing again, end of 2021. Yeah, that's kind of when restrictions started e to ease again, right? I missed my last chance to play Tony's here now. Rodney, hello, nice to see you, welcome back. You applied for linguistics, staff cuts meant my supervisor didn't have a for any more students, no, no. That's rough. Are you gonna try again, police brutality? Or are you just like, it's just one of those things where the opportunity is gone. So I know that was such bad pronunciation. I am arriving in LA and driving down to San Diego and then all the way up to San Fran. Yes. Yes. Correct. 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 Uh, best part, Haley, I wasn't the only trip. Another trip now. <gasps> Keaton, I swear, like, everyone wants to go to Japan when borders open up for age. Japan. Japan's going to be so, just, Japan's going to do so, it, not that it hasn't ever not done well in tourism, but it's going to be, I reckon they're going to be one of the most successful countries in tourism again when, when like borders properly open up and it's safe to travel again, because um, I did make coffee already because Tokyo, uh, like, because Japan is like one of the top places that everybody wants to go to. They're making a Ghibli theme park in Japan. Guys, this is like, screw Disneyland. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, gosh. Also, uh, Korea. I really want to go. Japan and um, South Korea as well. <laughs> the, the prospect of traveling is so exciting. Gosh, actually, just even going to America will be exciting. I'm not necessarily, I, I, like I've said this before, I'm not necessarily excited for exploring America as much as I am meeting people in America. Um, yeah. I'm excited for like good Mexican food because it's like authentic. I thought my stream, <laughs> they call me the bullet swerver. Yikes. Your keyboard is so cute. Thank you, Charlotte. Exhibit, exhibit A, son. Or rather exhibit B because exhibit A already happened like earlier on. Someone already made a comment on it. I thought my screen was frozen. Now the music was still going, right? Technically valid for one entry and then I got a renew. Oh my God. The nerve you, oh my God. Are you in the red zone now or like it's 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 fine? Are you like, what's what's the sitch now, Tarsio? Trix Tank, welcome back. I think I might miss watch party of the new boys episode at Johnny's tomorrow. Do you have Amazon Prime? Oh, you do. You can just watch it on your own. Unless you want to watch it together, we can watch it on the server. But now I have nothing else to do. Mood, mood. So I discovered and binged um, the boys well, while I had COVID. Also, welcome back, um, Mr. R. Um, and Mobile Force Japan, hello, welcome back. Um, I binged it all and I just felt like it, it was so good. And then it's just 
one of those things again where it's like there's a series that's still updating but you only discover it like a couple of seasons in and you get really excited and then you binge roll on one go and then you're like what do I do with my life now and now I have to wait along with these other peasants <laughs> But only for tour groups now, it's not the same. It's not the same. If you need any good coffee, food, Rex, let me know. In LA, you mean? Pog? All the weaves? Yeah, all the weaves. Hey, where you at? <laughs> See you in the Ghibli theme park. Um, About how good, uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at how good the food is on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, like food is one of the other like, like things that I'm looking forward to. Like, see, the thing is, because I'm not really excited about exploring Amer America in general, I am like, I would be hypothetically really excited to go to like the national parks and stuff because I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, except I'm not really visiting any of them. And they're all like in, like further in the middle of California. Um... Is that right? Did I say that correctly? Yes, I think so. So, and I'm traveling along the coast. So I will be basically missing out on all of the nature things that I want to see. Probably be in LA for a few days. Oh, okay. Go money. Oh no, but I'll be going like directly there. Sag. Um, and also, hello, Samai. It's basically expired, but due to COVID, they'll like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool, cool. So whenever you check through custom, like check it through customs, like there's no, there's no expiry date on it. Yeah, I'll get the yeah, yeah, oof, oof. You want to rewatch? Um, is the season over? It kind of felt like the last episode that I watched was like, mm -hmm. climax. Impatient lyric, thank you so much for the follow. Um, mm. You're from LA and lived in San Fran for the last... Uh, school year. So hit me up if you need any coffee. Oh, yes. Um, actually, please, any good coffee, gen like any good coffee anywhere that I'm going, like S San Diego, um, Santa Barbara-ish area, um, LA and, and um, San Fran, please let me know if you guys have good coffee racks. Um, let me know in the Discord or let me know on my Twitter post asking about recommendations there because... I, not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about, like, I don't know how faith, like, how much faith I have in American coffee based on what I've seen in movies. Um, so please, any proper coffee, barista made coffee places, um, in particular places, I know, Aussies, we're such coffee snobs. I hate it. I can't drink, like, bad coffee anymore. I'll cry. Is it fine legit coffee in San Fran? Noted. That's exciting. I'll put it in the Discord. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yes, any proper coffee, please. I will need it. Pro Shops, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Um, East Coast, oh my gosh, salted. Don't even, don't even mess with me like that. I'll probably believe you. We got, yeah, we got Blue Mountains. So beautiful. <laughs> You'll have beautiful sized I'm sure I will. Like nice beaches and stuff. Um, LA's got really good Chinese, Taiwanese, Japanese, Korean, and oh, I so I hear. So I hear Melty. Um, Josephine was telling me about how um LA has probably got the most like Asian centric, like diverse range of um like authentic Asian food. Like that's probably where I'm gonna find it most. Um, but yeah. And I think she said like the only Chinatown that's worth checking out is the one in LA. So yeah. Oh, you're planning on going San Diego Zoo. Nice. Um, yo, shy shy Teddy, hello, welcome back. Welcome back. San Fran is some of the best Chinese food. Okay, noted. Gotta do free solo, half dome, let's go. Wasted in a car though, riding it is magical. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, Matt, what's good? If you guys are traveling up the coastal highway instead of the fastest way, you will really enjoy the drive. I think that was the idea. My dad was like, the drive is going to be really nice. So I'm like, okay, I'm down for that. 
I'm not gonna lie. I know he's like b- driven for a very, very long time, obviously on his full plate, like his full license as well. But like, I'm still, I was like, dad, can you like, just please be careful when you're driving there because we're probably so used to driving on the left. It's gonna be so trippy driving on the right. I was like, I don't wanna get into an accident. Please be careful. I legit had no idea I was a coffee snob. Yeah, when I started hanging with you and you were like, I want to batch rules, like, it's begun. It's already begun. <laughs> Sean girls, hello. Yes, someone did say coffee. We we just made coffee before and now we're talking about finding good coffee in America. On my IG, DM you some food drink. Oh, yes, yes, please, yes. Yeah, or you can IG DM me, guys. Um, That sounds good too. The movie be right though. Yeah, it does not look good. Vietnamese coffee is super good in the Bay Area. Thanks for letting me know. I Where is the Bay Area referring to specifically? I've definitely heard that term being thrown around everywhere. Um, but I would be so down for some good Vietnamese coffee. Mm-mm. Um, and I feel sorry for my Makona flavored coffee I'm having at home. No, no. We have beach and mountains, Pog, you. LA is, stands for literally Asia. <laughs> American coffee is lame. Come to Tennessee and try a whiskey and a hot chicken. Oh, Zach, that sounds actually good. That sounds good. Oh my gosh, go money re- responding to the pro shops comment. <laughs> oh my gosh. San Fran is awesome. You should check it out. Pog, Pog. I, I, I will be, I will be passing by San Fran. Are you into climbing? Not really, not really. I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not really into physical activity and I want to be, I want to be. As stupid as it sounds, also guys, I started playing Sims um, and it's been really, really fun. I've been trying to get back into it because everything was so new to me. I think the last Sims that I played was Sims 3. So getting used to the controls and like, it's, it's all very overwhelming. Good morning, Henry. Um, it sounds so lame, but I feel like living my life out through my sim has motivated me in life more. Than, I don't know if that sounds really silly, but um, I've been really trying to find motivation to do things. Yo, we're all hello. Um, I can't imagine driving on the wrong side. Oh, I make that drive so often. Oh, the scenic route. French Pesta fancy. Cause I had my first one in Montreal. Oh, she fancy. Bay Area is the Bay Area. Nice, thanks. <laughs> I suddenly got rich and wanted to open and run a cafe. It's like all I want to do, man. Dude, actually one of my dreams was to open up a cafe as well. And like, have have like um make it like very designed and like have an area for like a little design market type thing um use yeah in mod view and light in um in light mode is free solo on netflix bay area is san francisco oh okay 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 also hi curtis have you made our basement yet i haven't sleepy can we finally live to basement no no asking the real questions um, is your IRL sim you're occupying feeling their fitness bar? Not yet, not yet. But they seemed to really enjoy fitness. Like, you know how you leave them, you know how you leave like them be and if you have autonomy mode on, like they just do whatever they want to do. Like she started doing push-ups randomly out of nowhere. And I was like, no, like I canceled the... <laughs> You can, you know, you can force cancel the, the, the motion, the action thingy. Oh, is Emmy here? Hi, Emmy. Oh, I'm stuck in a Sims. I know. I've just been like, I want to play it on my own time. Oh, finishing my aquarium in, oh my gosh. I thought you were playing instant aquarium. I saw my Sims sitting on the couch. Now I want to sit on the couch. I know the feel. Oh, you're on a break. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Curtis. Well, go back to lurking. Dark mode till I die. Mood. Mood. A Linda sandwich shop near to okay okay pro shops I love these suggestions please can you can you put them down somewhere so that I will remember like whether it be Instagram DMing me or like like sending it to me on Twitter 
like commenting it somewhere. Whereas Aang didn't see him today. He, is he lurking? He's not lurking. Um, he has been taking, oh no, no, because he's leaving today, right? Or is that his tomorrow? I think it's his tomorrow. Oh no, yes, his tomorrow. Leaving for New York to meet Sleepy. FOMO. Oh, he's on Disney Plus. Okay, I do have Disney Plus. Um, Dom's still in <laughs> finishing my aquarium idea. I would just talk to my sisters. Yeah, I built a whole neighborhood of Sims to live out my draw. Oh my girl, girl. <laughs> um, if there's no dark mode, I want to use that. I know. Literally, one of the first things I will look for in any like application is whether it has dark mode. Um, Linda's hyped. Heard from Keezy. Okay, okay, okay. No, dude. Really tired. Really generous. Thank you so much for gifting us up to tricks. Oh, I should make a thread on Discord. <gasps> Go money. You're so five head. Chrissy, would you be able to help me do that if you're still listening? Because I feel like I will forget. And I have a bunch of things on my to-do list that I haven't done yet. Um, I think he leaves tomorrow. Yes, he his tomorrow. His Friday. I know, imagine being able to meet Ang and Sleepy, I cry. Oh, I just storm inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Ang, Ang is actually going on a business trip to meet Sleepy to officially establish the cult. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sleepy. What have we done to you? I swear when Sleepy agreed to mod for me, I don't think this is what she was hoping or expecting. <laughs> No cult. <laughs> what an absolute cutie pie. Oh my gosh. So funny. Who's Keezy, by the way? It has an axolotl? Wait, is that an actual animal in Minecraft? Or do you have to like make it? Or like you have to like download some sort of like package? Minz is the smart one. So you're smart by proxy then. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Five, five head, five head energy for sure. Um, <laughs> unlock for cult. Oh my gosh, peanuts. <gasps> Yo, Keish, what's good? Um, it's less of a cult, more of a religion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good night, Steph. Thank you so much for hanging with us. And I've just been yabbering on. Mish is gonna be like, oi, when are we playing Maple? We're just gonna have time to make a character. I do need to, I do need to finish relatively on time-ish today. I say that, but I'll probably wanna stream more um, because I've got things to do and I need to, I need to get them done. Ooh, wait, oh my gosh, wait, but I feel like there's so much to talk to you guys about. <laughs> I love chatting with you guys. You know, if you if you had told me to chat for an entire stream like a year ago, I would not have been able to like I would have been so so overwhelmed because I was like, what do I even talk about? It's like one hour. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I've like so much to update you guys on and like so interested in like talking to you guys and getting to know you guys and stuff. I go back to work. I want to meet Sleepy too. At TCSD is TwitchCon San Diego. You would know if you an the answer if you played Minecraft with us. <sighs> Axolotls are so cute. Oh, Keezy's a YouTuber, noted. It is It is the Maple stream today. Oh, he's a fashion YouTuber. A YouTuber. I don't know why I said YouTuber like that. He mostly does streetwear sneakers and early 200s fashion. So is his name like a ripoff of Yeezy, but like Keezy? Um, oh, Haven Court. Nice. I know. I'm such a clingy streamer. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? No, I, I do want to play though, Mish. I honestly think I was at the end of Colonel Sanders, but I didn't want to keep everyone for too long to finish it off last stream because it was already like five o'clock and I was like <laughs> to my mods. Felt bad. YouTuber. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I, I forgot to bring my laptop here again, um, but I, I need it so I can open the stream as well uh, while I while I play Colonel Sanders. Anyways, as I was saying about Sims, 
I just wanted to finish that thought. I got really distracted saying hi to people and then replying to messages. Uh, oh my gosh, my ADHD brain. Um, Sims, I, I yeah, so I genuinely have been struggling with motivation lately and I've genuinely been feeling lazy or just like really lethargic about like life and I don't know, it's been, it's been really hard to just get out of bed sometimes and I, I have a feeling like I don't think mentally, like I know that that is one of the signs of like, you know, potential potentially one of the like symptoms of depression but I don't think it is a mental thing I feel like it's more just like a getting used like easing out of just not doing much while I've been recovering from like the three period like consecutive sicknesses and so I feel like my body's just been really used to resting so much that the the idea of doing something is just really overwhelming for me so I've been I've been finding it really hard to be motivated to do things and get out of bed some days even. Um, well, I guess like the, the good thing, I know I haven't been doing physical exercises and I like, I haven't been able to find motivation to do it. You know, man, I love resting. True, true. Being in bed is so nice. Sometimes um, I'll be like that and I realize I haven't exercised forever. I, I do know that exercise does um, produce happy endorphins, which is one of the things and it helps you feel more energized. That's why I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. Yeah, like, I mean, thank you for the hug, Sleepy. Logan, yo, um, it is just the mic that I'm using while I'm chatting today. Um, I, wanna, I wanted to test out the pod mic because Rhodes sent me this as well, but I haven't had a chance to use it. It's not lazy and lethargic. If you go from 110% to 94, you gotta jump out of your brain and put in perspective. I can always count on you to help me realign or like re readjust my expectations and perspective. Thank you for, um, thank you for your words of wisdom. Ivan, hello. I've become may way more productive. Yeah, I mean, I think like, um, yeah, like exercising is just like good for your brain, basically. It's meant to be at least. Can I get a squeeze? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. Of course, son, are you listening? Got another comment on the keyboard. Yeah, it's definitely a, the older you get, the wiser you get, right? Really tired is actually 90 years old. That's why he's, that's why he's so wise. Um, oh, sorry. It's not in focus. Um, actually, let me, let me zoom in. Yeah, maybe that's why it's a title. Oh, my monger pulling the cable. I mean, it's, it's called for a reason. It's good, right? Why are you pulling the cords? Because it's, because? Cause I don't, cause I don't want to um like pull it so that the pressure is coming from here. Like I'm pulling it so that like I have enough space to be able to turn it around. That hurt chat. Okay, I didn't think y'all would be offended by that. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to do sound test? Sound test. Can you guys hear this? It actually hurt. Also, son, I, re I really want a new cable. Like, I want a straight one. Yo, Coffee Night, hello. Where? <laughs> but Tom, where is this weak ass aquarium villa? Oh, what color? I got some spare. Maybe white. Do you have white? Yeah, I love the thock. I love how it's not like a high pitch like clicking. I kind of like that. I like that it's like a like a thock. Um, no, I don't like the curly cable. I don't like it. But Sun gave me this because this is the one that came with it, I believe. He did. He did say if I wanted a custom one, let him know. Say let's daddy oh. oh. But just bring it. Just can you please bring it with you when you when you come to Sydney again? People shy. Yeah, the, the coffee house jazz is a vibe. Um, anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I keep getting so distracted. Yo, Yuzu, how's it going? I'm Peanut, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. I saw you jam yesterday, inspirational. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Mia, have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy the sunshine. Unlike me, because... <laughs> 
<laughs> I love how I say that with such confidence, but I'm like, yeah, well, I'm gonna be inside all day. Um, will this be on a VOD? Yeah, do you have to go, CG? I'm sorry, I, like, I've been chatting so much. I'm falling asleep, yeah, yeah. Did you wanna watch the rest of Colonel Sanders? So good, it will be, it will be, it will be. Thanks for being here, CG. Take care. Yes, catch me on the VOD. I'm gonna randomly say something to you in the middle, in the middle of playing. <laughs> um, so I've been feeling lack of motivation lately and like, as I guess trivial, trivial and silly as it sounds. Okay, you're falling asleep, okay, okay, okay. Um, I almost feel like living vicariously through my Sims characters. I suppose like has weirdly motivated me because it's like, these are the things that I want to be doing. And I play that out through my Sims. And then seeing them do it, I feel like motivated to do it almost. I don't know, it sounds so dumb. Yeah, I mean, it works, but like, it sounds so silly. Oh, Sleepy enjoying the flute? Pog you. I'm not going yet. Okay, okay. What the hell's motivation? <laughs> you tell me. Um, becoming a Sims uh, YouTuber or VR tuber. Oh, oh, pause champ. Hyper visualization. Yeah, kind of. That's why I'm playing Minecraft busy wasting my life in this game. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I live vicariously through many streamers. Actually, that's, I mean, like psychologically, I think it checks out because that's what people do when they watch influencers and other people do things, right? They suddenly feel this urge to like replicate their lifestyle or um, I feel motivated to do something be while watching someone else do it. Like, I, yeah, that makes sense, Go Money, when you put it like that. Um, no, for sure, I feel that way too. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Q-W-E-A-D-S-S. -S. Thank you so much for the follow, welcome in. Yeah, it, it almost is like escapism as well, Emmy, for sure. So it's like a form of escapism. And I think, I don't know if it's dangerous, but like, I think I've built like, uh, being able to build and design like a really huge home, um, like in the game and stuff. Um, I don't know, like motivates me as well. I don't know. I do the same, copium, copium quiche. I play Tinder and re just reject everyone. Dude, power move. What a power move. Actual power move. Um, yeah, Matt really wants me to make make his character in, in Sims though. But I was like, dang, it sucked out so much energy from me making my own Sim to begin with. I have to make another Sim and I have to deal with two. I was like, just let me handle one first. I can hardly, I can barely manage myself. Are you getting promoted in Sims and building like a mansion? That's exactly right. Also, I've been like, again, like a little bit silly, but um, a little bit silly, but <laughs> I've been lacking motivation to like, or lacking ideas for how to dress and stuff. Just like dress in general. Um, and like so many limited options in Sims, but I think like dressing up my Sims yesterday, was like, ooh, actually, I should like, I could dress like this in real life too. Why not? <laughs> Your persuasion, welcome back. Oh, D as well. Melty, go, go make dinner, go make dinner. Hi, how do I request the musics? I'm playing Mabel Story today and dating simulator with Colonel Sanders. Oh my gosh. You Wait, Mish, you also played. You stayed up till 2 a.m. building my house in Sims last week. That was me. I stayed up till like really late last night. Um, Matt was like, when are you going to sleep? And I was like, I feel like I need this for my mental health right now. <laughs> Emmy, you only typed mother load five times. I'm on like eight mil right now. And every time I purchase something, I feel bad. So I mother load it a couple more times, which is like ridiculously like huge numbers each time, even though I only spent like a couple hundred. Yeah. 
I'm on like $8 million. <laughs> you know, in case you ran out of money for some reason. <laughs> you're telling me you're not motivated by the need to be better? Dom, actually, no. I feel like for me, that's not a big enough motivation. As weird as it sounds. Make it with him more. Oh, go money. That sounds like a good idea, except he's going to a wedding and I'll be spending the night with Mish. So, oh my gosh. But dude, playing Sims all day before I meet Mish actually sounds like a fantastic idea. But yeah, same. I like dressing. <laughs> I'd rather have perfect relationships more than the perfect mansion, which is why Harvest Moon was frustrating for me. Oh, oh, wait, why? Is Harvest Moon more about relationships or? Just don't leave the house and you can live in hoodies and sweatpants. Yuzu, what do you think I'm wearing right now? <laughs> Yuzu, what do you think I'm wearing right now? <laughs> Literally a hoodie and sweatpants. <laughs> oh, building a farm on the roof. Okay, okay, okay. So like, it's like building up the place. <laughs> I think you're playing just chatting to the dude. For reals, for reals, for reals. No, I, I don't dress well, Dean. I, I want to dress better. It's not like where my, it's not like the be all end all if I don't dress well, but like, I think I like, I really like, I, oh, so many thoughts I've been having. I've been really missing the creative world. And by creative world, I don't mean like the music side and stuff. I've been really, like even just watching Min's This Morning Code, I was like, try to do a coding stream and like make something. I just like, ah, and then I also bought a printer and I'm like, ah, like I just really miss designing. But I like, I don't want to do it full time. I know that for sure. But um, I just really, really miss doing stuff. Chad picks out your outfits. Oh. Please say yes, thank you, thank you. But I'm a music streamer. Dean, maybe more in the future if I brand myself as a variety streamer. But, um, but f like, I am majority music. So I like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like people mostly come for music. They come, someone, someone's gonna say they come for you. And they do, they do, they do. But like, um, but I feel like what, what like really draws people in is the music. Cause I suck at gaming. Beeru, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back, friend. Welcome back. Hazy, that's true. That's true, son. It is just hazy. How long does it take to get eight million with just motherload? Oh, it's, not, it's actually not that long, Emmy. It's not that long. Also, welcome back, Josephine. What did you What did you have for dinner? Sometimes we just need to hyperfixate as a little tree. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, it's pretty decent aquarium, Tom. But only fish. Where's the axolotl? Um, yeah, just, just the, the, just like hearing be better or like knowing in my head, just be better. I feel like isn't enough to convict me to do something, um, or to feel motivated to do something, which is why at the moment I'm just like, what does motivate me? And I think what does from my understanding so far is seeing the example in other people. Like seeing it played out in other people, which is why as dumb as it sounds, I suppose seeing this, like all of these things happening through my sim is like what motivates me. Like weirdly enough. Yeah. That's all I wear seven days a week. You don't go into the office. At least they're matching. It looked like because so figged out a uniform. Dude, some people just wear home clothes and I'm like, I dig that vibe. As, as sorry, no, that sounded weird. Obviously, we're home clothes at home, but like, as in, like, they feel like they're wearing the ugliest mitch ma mist mismatched clothing. But I'm like, yo, that's actually a vibe. No joke. 100% work from home. Let's go. No feed on the stream. That's to you as all. Well. Ani ducky. Hi. Hi. You dress ha better than half the people I know. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, no, I like, I, I think like I've been in like part of wanting to express my creativity has been through what I wear. So I do kind of like 
hold on to what I wear as like a sort like bit of like a pride thing. Catch my pride a little bit to it. Yeah. Um, I always thought you were one of my most fashionable people. I know what you mean. Well, Dean, I also like the people that I studied with, like visual communication people, they all are so effortlessly fashionable. And I'm like, how do I be like you? You make hoodie and sweats look good with your color palette. Come on, girl. Okay, yeah, I, I'm pretty big on color too. But yeah. Chat makes your outfit sounds like a cool idea. I, I haven't coded in a very long time. I only know uh, like HTML. Also, I'm a bit rusty. HTML, CSS. Um, I'm horrible at JavaScript. I know a little bit. Uh, P4 JS, which is like a web friendly form of JavaScript. Um, sorry, a design friendly form of JavaScript, rather. Um, and it's similar to processing the language. I miss that stream. No! Harry, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, Matt the Hat. Oh, you got it. Um, yeah, what are people watching? What are people wearing in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I come for the Shrekies, bruh. People come for the music and they stay for you. That's, yeah, that's true. We have, yeah, I know. Yeah, I knew you guys. Someone would say they come for me. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not good at gaming. So I feel like gamers wouldn't come in and be like, oh my God, she's so good at gaming. Look at her in Valorant. <laughs> yeah um we go shopping with a limited budget and yeah chat helps fix it i love it i love it but also i feel like i'm a control freak and i'd be like no i think this looks good hazy designs yeah i know well yuzu my name used to be hazy music but i i don't know if you knew me back then i can't remember anymore um i'll send you something later that hopefully helps oh okay Loungewear, yeah, 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 true, true, true. Oh, Lozzie's here, hi, Golden Observer, hi as well. Friends, Pog, hold up, let me let me get Matt in a sec. Um, I only know what's Zanga coding. Oh my gosh, we have Weeb detected. Scott, were you lurking the whole time on not monologue? <laughs> what an incredible emote! Oh, yeah, P4JS is just like a uh like a designer friendly version of JavaScript. So uh, like a, sorry, I mean creative code, which is different kind of to like just straight up coding. Um, man, in saying that I really have been struggling to find male fashion role models. And I think what for me is really easy to find female ones, hard to find male ones for sure. Yeah, like on Insta, yeah, for sure. I barely see any male fashion accounts. If I, if I, I, I will, I will keep an eye out and I'll link them to you, yeah? Um, we, we'd love to have you in the software and development, um, developer category. I would love to be in there. Nail the accent, not gonna lie. That's my stripper in RuneScape. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Weebs detect. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Oh my gosh. So funny. It was an online blog thing. Oh my gosh. The closest I got to, um like editing my code was in like Blogspot. That was like my like introduction to HTML. I didn't even know it. When you like had to italicize and bold some things. Um, very exciting. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know, Dean. Uh, yeah, so many fashionable girls and I feel like understand, you understand female fashion more than male fashion for sure, for sure. I'm fluent in coding in Google search and copy and pasting. Dude, uh, what's, what's, the, what's the thing? Is it something stack? Web, I forgot what it's called. I, I feel very out of touch with the coding world now, but yeah, I'm still really proud of the website that I, I built, but like it is quite simple, but it really helped me practice the fundamentals um, very well. And I kind of want to give myself more briefs like that. And I kind of want to stream it too and like learn it on stream. But um, again, like I feel like I only have the Friday to kind of do that I, I do want to like the strategy for now is to mostly stick to music and I like I don't mind it I really enjoy um playing music but I feel like I've gotten to a point where I just like chat non-stop to you guys because I just like love this community so much and like while enjoying good music together is nice like I'm kind of more interested in the in-between parts where I get to talk to you guys 
Because of stream coding. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't know that, Chrissy. They see me rolling. <laughs> oh, Stack Overflow. That's the one. That's the one. Copy paste from Stack Overflow and have no idea what. My tutor was so adamant. And she was right. Like adamant that like you should not be copy paste in code unless you properly understand. Only copy paste a code if you actually understand what it is doing. Otherwise, like, and, and I've, I've done that before where I like, I've just copy pasted code I don't understand. And it really screws you over because you can't customize it properly and you don't actually know what's happening. Yeah. But I think, I think a lot of the developers copy paste code because it just doesn't make sense to do things from scratch, which is understandable, but I like doing things from scratch sometimes to understand the process better. And then I, I go like open up old files and I just copy paste the stuff. But you know, like it's like only if you understand what's happening, you can like start customizing things. But yeah, an eight day week. Time for a fifth stream just for chatting. Oh no. Um, not easy music girl. Just chatting now and there's always a do. Oh, really? Really? I don't have my view count on. You're gonna make me cry? <laughs> Why? Why are you crying? Mate, didn't I make your follower event list? You did, you did. I like, I customized a little bit, but you like basically helped me with the, like the, the layout and like making it, which I like, I'm super appreciative of. I like randomly actually was thinking about that this morning. I was thinking about you and like the fact that you made that for me because I was in Minstream and she was coding. I was like, man, like what are ways that I can incorporate coding onto my like stream overlays and stuff like she was doing. And then I thought about your event list thing that you made. Um, I would love to see more creative stream. Really kind of makes the music stream so special if you break it up too, maybe. Thanks for the encouragement, Dean. I will think about it. I will think about it. Stack Overflow made a copy paste keyboard, which only has three keys. Control C V O. Oh. But it is so hard to understand. That's true. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, but it's good to like generally know what's happening. Um, just hope your jank code <laughs> built on someone else's jank code doesn't break. Dude. That's where the headache, you, you create more of a headache for yourself. If you do that, if someone's code is janky and you don't know what's happening to fix it. All right, map the hat. And then we're actually gonna play. I finally caught up with chat. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Dean, um, What's, what's work like for you today? Are you really busy? Oh. Okay. Map the hat. Um, lots of Jenko is free, yep. One morning, one afternoon, one gaming, one creative stream. Rats. Why does this hat suit me so much? It's a little bit concerning. Wait, is this the right way around? Yeah, it is. Clayton made a good choice. As long as you feel it'll be a good part of your brand. I think, I don't know if I'm at that stage yet, Dom. I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me brainstorm a little bit. Um... Let me brainstorm a little bit. My my main thing is just like, I don't want people to leave. You know? <laughs> like I, I like the fear in me is that people are only here for the music, which like I, I'm sure some people only click in here when when I do music. Um, you're also going out tonight? Fun. What a good way to spend your Friday night. Pro strats, yeah. Why is the hat so expensive? Oh, as in you mean channel points wise or? <laughs> Why does the meme look good? I know. <laughs> like when the fridge is like all the memes in here just end up looking like too good. Um, Do whatever you feel like, Hales. If they leave, they leave. I don't know, Vivi. I, I wish it were that simple. I genuinely wish it were that simple. But also when it's your full time job, you gotta, you gotta make sure there's stability. You stream music, I know. For real, for real, I'm here for your vibes. I love it. Thanks, Trix. I click in here for the chaos and chaos you will get, Yuzu. Chaos you will get. Do you like your chatting? Thank you. Leaving is forbidden. You're trapped here forever. Um, when's the brand merch coming, bro? Wait for it. I never leave. 
quiche, people shy. Oh, new Daisy emote. You crossed that. Don't want people to leave thing after yesterday's voice, but oh. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, why are you replying to stream elements? I was trying to look at like what message you were replying to. Oh my gosh. Ocean man, can't wait. I'm broke now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, it's not like we have another 50,000 uh, point giveaway. I'm here for Hazy and in some way joy Vance joys Ocean Man. Oh my gosh. What class you build? Who knows? Mish and I will make a new account, I think. Uh, a new a new profile. I'm here. I'm here for the... Ooh. <laughs> Fridge would he win? Potentially. I love that we have so many memes that just manifested itself in the stream like this stream is just so effort effortlessly memeable <laughs> i don't even have to try i'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing whether i should be concerned that i'm a, a clown or <laughs> whether it's a blessing in disguise don't remind my voice changer, please. I, all the all the mods are like, can one of you guys stay uh, un stay unmuted so that we know when to come back? I'm exercising my founder's vegetable dibs on merch. That's actually an idea. Maybe like maybe like top supporters slash founders get exclusive access to the merch way ahead of when it gets released. I really like that idea. I like it. I like it. Are y'all playing in the private server or public? Public. Um, is Sexy Kernels that hasn't started, Thomas? <laughs> Find you a streamer that can both soothe you to sleep with the music, then consider a life off the grid with the ASM. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I love the voice and thank you some. Um, what about the Sydney side? Is, uh, uh. Oh, but not the VIPs. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I feel like almost founders is a bigger flex than VIP to be honest. And like, I'll just, I'll just say this right here and right now. There are so many people I want to VIP in this stream. And I like, I really, really do. There are so many people I want to VIP in this stream and I like treasure you guys so much, but I don't have enough VIP badges. And the only other issue is I don't want to create a VIP wall, but just know that a lot of you guys I really, really treasure. And if I had like infinite VIPs, I would give it to you. But also I guess that would defeat the purpose of VIPs. But yes, just know that. I will say this right here and right now. Um, there are a lot of you guys. And sometimes I want to tell you that like I would VIP you if I could, which I can technically whenever I want. But also I don't want to get people's hopes up and then be like, you know, be the, always be like, oh, I would do this, but I also can't. So you're going to have like tough luck. You're going to have to, you know, so I like, sometimes I'm just like, I keep it to myself, but there are a lot of you guys. I want to VIP. Okay. But can I have a hoodie? Think about it, Sean. Yo, Bernard. Hello. Um, I, I don't know. I have had to amp it up, but like I've amped it up in the same kind of um, to the same degree as I have like any other mic um, that I've been using. So yeah, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the mic. Otherwise though, it is a really good mic. I went to the dog park to avoid it. I know we've been chatting for one and a half hours. I've just been like updating you guys on what I've been thinking. And then you guys have been sharing your thoughts too. And it's been, it's been really nice. No shipping costs. Think about it. Dude, I still need to, I still need to like post it to you. <laughs> I know founders for sure is a bigger flex. Don't inflate Henry's ego. He's got like all the badges. He's got the one bit badge, the founders badge, the mod badge. And at some point he had a VIP badge too. As a VIP, I feel like we should fight amongst ourselves to see who the ultimate VIP is. I 
kind of like that idea. Should we have a VIP war whenever the merch comes out? Gosh, you guys are full of good ideas. I can't, I kind of like that idea. If y'all, if y'all VIPers want exclusive access to the merch as well as all these founders people, a VIP talent show? I feel like, I feel like that's a little bit unfair because Dean is very talented and I feel like he would win too easily. We need, we need some sort of other metric to measure this. <laughs> Thank you for the hug, Peanut Man. Uh, I just suggested we have VIP wall. <laughs> Drop the names, Haley. You won't. I would, but um, no. But there's, but the, there, it's truly a lot of you guys. Um, but founders is a timing wise thing. The VIP is the earn spot. True, true. <laughs> That's true. Um, when can I get mod and VIP? I still remember the first time and I'm sure like most streamers who have just started streaming like don't know about the fact that you can't have a VIP and mod until they accidentally mod a VIP and they're like oh wait what or like they VIP a mod and they're like wait what where did your other badge go that was for sure me I still remember that happening and then I was like oh my gosh you can't have like both at the same time feels bad ah, mods out where VIPs <laughs> where's VIPs out <laughs> Yeah, you guys are VIP in my heart. I'll be the one guy without a badge. Uh, I want a hoodie too. I reckon hoodie will be one of the first things that I that I make. And also t-shirts, like oversized baggy t-shirts are really vibe. Or like even tote bag. Oh my gosh, so many ideas. <laughs> so many exciting ideas. Yeah, just because you don't have a VIP badge does not mean you're not important. About to say the the opposite. But yes, absolutely right, um, Josephine. For sure, for sure. Now I can. Now that you're a mod, I can say I can say to you, you're one of the people that I wanted to um, VIP, but not enough badges. So I trapped you in the mod basement instead. <laughs> Come on, thank you so much for gifting yourself to Nah. Wait, what? Do you, what am I waiting for, Grand Money? I ruined it. Wait, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oi, one bit badge most valuable. I still need to make something for the one bit badge. Actually, Henry, let me know. Let me know if there's a, uh, like a Ghibli character slash item that you would want as a, as the one bit badge. Yeah. Um, yeah, VIP talent show. Oh, I can't do a talent show. No, 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 I think it'd be like heavily unfair because, um, because Dean is, Dean's too cracked. Your handicap for me, please. <laughs> like, like a good handicap or a bad handicap? What would I be able to do? I just get on mic and yell. But you'd like, you'd be hilarious. And you'd also, you'd just be, you'd just be absolutely hilarious. People would love you. Also, when are we getting like stream? Please follow Doe Flip Guy. He is one of the funniest people that I know in this entire world, if not the funniest person I know. I have laughed until I have cried actual tears in his stream. Um, the only thing is he is very, very, um, like he's a huge perfectionist with his craft. And so he takes a long time to plan things out, which is why we haven't gotten a stream in a while, but he is going to have... He's going to stream soon-ish once he's done making stuff. So please follow him and check him out when he is live. Um, seriously, so funny and just all round amazing dude. Um, yeah. I never played Fall Guys, same. I'll grab my guitar. Yeah, we, we won't do a Fall Guys tournament. Actually, or maybe we could. Like we'll probably have like a bunch of things. Oh, what's sleepy? <laughs> Fight it. <laughs> Use it, please. The word tit got auto modded, and Sleepy had to permit it. Uh, you can unfound people, dude. No way. Is that is that legit? Take care, Hannah. Wait, what did you ruin? I'm still I'm still looking for it. High chance. Oh, my sub. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, VIP. Oh, yeah, yeah. A hoodie with a lover is on it. I love that. 
do you have tote bag I need? I know I'm just, I'm such a tote bag hoarder and we have like 20 tote bags and I still need more, more. <laughs> Get in my heart, triple peanut. <laughs> Welcome back. I would personally like a hazy temporary tat. A shonky temporary tat? More merch ideas I actually like. Wait, what did you do? Oh, you ruined the, you ruined the 69. Oh my gosh. Ang paid for my badges. <laughs> Copium, true, always. Uh, you forgot you're a 69, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you did not just ask me for the suggestion. You give me so much power. I mean, you're the one bit badge person, so. Oh, bit badges, the flex. Holy moly. 10, wait, is that 10,000 bits? Or is that 1,000 bits? That's 10,000 bits. Guesses. Guesses. Non-music talent show? Dean would win, hands down. It's, it's too unfair a battle, Adele. Too unfair a battle. Um, because VIPs don't need to work. True, true, true. A uh, bi-flip? <laughs> no, yeah, Dean, Dean is an incredible streamer. You, you'll you have the time of your life there. Yo, Jamie Bob, we will find out. Oh my gosh, okay, after after I wrap up this conversation, we we are really, we're starting, we're starting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm never gonna play Maple with Mish at this rate. Feels bad. Yeah, a dating simulator centered around Colonel Sanders. <gasps> Keesh. Oh my gosh, I'm actually tearing up. Keesh. Dude, not like this. I know this is just chatting now. I must say this is one of my favorite streams though. My Friday streams. Keesh. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Broskies. My heart, I'm actually tearing up. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. Oh, the hi hi <laughs> exclamation mark, but it's like, <laughs> oh, but it's like lost. Oh my gosh. I always drop the headphones, yikes. Thank you so much for the 5,000 bits, Quiche. Do not need to do that. Goodness gracious. It's, wait, the unfounding thing has been a while, a thing for a while? I think one, like a couple of my founders like have not been around since the beginning. That's the time to unfound them. Hold up, if you unfound them, does that mean the next set of people get the founders badge? Wow, I didn't know you could unfound them. That's that's wild. It has to be permanent. I um I keep at least ten reusable bags. Oh my god, it's just a bag and yes, me too, Emmy. Me too. Like, let me let me go show you. Why not make your VIPs do a master chef thing? Hey yo, hey yo. Who would win that? I feel like Go Money is a good chef. He makes he makes the best bread. Roller skate battles. So I got a chance. I don't know, girl. You better watch out. I'm sure there are some some hidden ones. I got to move to a farm to AFK first. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't die. But yeah, no, let me know. I think since our sub badges are like characters, maybe like an iconic item or like thing, like other, other like some other kind of iconic motif in, um, in any of the Ghibli movies. Yeah. Preferably one of the recognizable ones so that people actually get the reference, but all good if not as well, because it's mainly for you anyway. Um, but yeah. Did you know I literally broke my ankle roller skating? Oh my, yep. <laughs> this is just ending now. No, 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 no. I'm just wrapping up. Nelly, hi, hi, hi. Dating is easy in KFC. Just ask whether they're like Wicked Rings or original recipe. Ayo. Ayo. People take notes. Is this Is this how you pick up people? You just go like, Hey, so this is how you know if they're your soulmate. Hey, so uh, Wicked Wings or Original Recipe. Or Potato and Gravy or Coleslaw. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Anyways, oh my gosh, a man named Yam! Hi! Hi, friend! I hope you're well! Streamers throwing things in excitement always. Also, hi, John. I don't think I said hi to you. It's been a thing since June 8. Okay, so like not too long ago. Okay, so it just it just bumps it up to the next. Maybe I should just unfound people. Oh my gosh, that's slack. I feel like that's so slack. If they like come back after not having been here for ages, they're gonna be like. Where's my badge? But certainly there are some people I'm a bit like. Uh, yeah, it's cheap to unfound them though. Yeah, makes it more special. La, 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 la. Do you think I can cook? I reckon you could. I reckon you could. I've not seen you post any of your cooking stuff though. They did a dumb thing that notified new people and ended up canceling that. Not sure if they put it back on. Oof. Oof. Wouldn't unfounding just be called losing? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, seems odd to unfound someone. I know it feels a little bit slack. Did someone say cook? Nelly's, Nelly's a pog chef. Kiki's delivery broom? Maybe, maybe. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let Henry decide, but um, that is pretty iconic. Oh, hi, Tams. Sarang, hey. <laughs> the castle for how? Oh, as in the moving house? Hey, yo, that's pretty cool. What? Are, yeah, I was going to say vegetarian. That's why I added the coleslaw option. The coleslaw gravy option. Oh, what did Dean say? Oh, and then they say red rooster and you marry them on the spot. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Hi, Yam. Hi. <laughs> Put it back, dumb, you coward. <laughs> Where's my, oh, <laughs> where's my badge? Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, if they haven't shown up for 18, yeah, true. There's one, like, there's at least one person that I have in my mind right now that pops in and it's like, hey. They, they resub and they're like, hey, look, I'm a founder. And then they like, they're not a regular or anything and they just disappear. I feel like if I unfound them, they'll come back and be like, where did my founder's badge go? You know, because they do pop in occasionally. Maybe maybe I can see if there are any people who like genuinely just don't rock up. Um, but there are people who are founders who don't rock up, who like, I just like. Um, like like Daniel um, or Dan V, I don't, like he changed his name. Um yeah, like, like he pops in from time to time and is also founders, but like I wouldn't unfound him. Jack, hi. You post on, oh my gosh, Thomas. I, I'm so sure that I follow you on my other account, my personal account. Not that I use my, like I don't touch my personal account. I was like, I'm, I'm still accumulating followers on my old account. I'm like, how are you guys finding this account? It's got like 2,400 or something follows. And I like, it's completely inactive. I don't even check my friends' stories and stuff on there. My personal friends' stories. I'm just like on my brand account now. Also, good morning, Jack. Hi. Hello. Oh my, the hat is up. Thank you. Gravy isn't even veg though. Actually, that's true. Only the potato, just the potato, not, not the gravy. Um, anyways, if they're here now, look, oh, yikes. You can see if they aren't subbed. Yeah, they, they, I mean, no, but, but, but when they do sub, they'll expect the founder's badge. Cause when you do resub, you get your founder's badge back. Thank you. Take care, Matt. Thanks so much for being here. Did someone say potato? Oh, I've actually, yam. Yeah, I don't think I've actually ever tasted a yam before. Or maybe I have, but I don't know it. I'm going to turn the heater off outside and get my thinking such a random thought but I'm thinking of making sweet potato fries tonight that could be yummy I need to cook um we have like a wedding um music practice that I'm leading uh tonight Matt's Matt's on drums um I am on vocals and I need to cook dinner for us tonight so I'm thinking sweet potato fries, horse champ, and rice and 
something else. I don't know. I'll have to see what's in my fridge. Oh, Wonder's going to have a concert here in September. Are you going to go? None of my founders have subscribed. Monka? Calling me out? Calling me out? I would, but I'm also like, if I if I left my sub for all the channels that are inactive, um, I really want to support my friends, but also like it accumulates to a lot of money. <laughs> there, may I'll be honest. Oh, <laughs> why are you still going yam then? Ube Otar, yes, of course. I love blasting it. You're like, she don't need a place to start. <laughs> Electricity. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me bring up. Let me bring up my dashboard. If anyone, if anyone, um, donos, can can y'all can y'all spam me and let me know because I won't be able to see stream elements donos. I can only see followers and the what the. Hi, Beard just gifted you a tier one subscription one month to Mish Kui. <laughs> Ang, we love and miss you. I know. Ang, we were wondering about you before, but you weren't here. Oh, yeah, Ang, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oi, Mish, can you get your payout yet? <laughs> um, the yam curse has gotten me through because my name wasn't even meant to be about a yam. Oh, Yamaha. Oh, my gosh. I see. Okay. So, okay, noted. So, you're telling me I need to start calling you a man named Yamaha. Got it. Yeah, air fries, sweet potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I actually saw sweet potato fries, but healthy video. Oh, same. Same. Is it the microwaved one? But I also was like, it's like a microwaved version of it. But I was like, isn't the fact that you're using a microwave unhealthy? Also, um, Alice Curry, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. A man named Yam is here. Well, Yamaha, apparently. Majek, <laughs> no. It makes me so uncomfortable. Why? Why? Why does it make you so uncomfortable? Like just, no, not just fries. Also, I didn't think I said hi to you, Owen. Hello. Um... No, don't pay me. Ang paid you. Ang, thank you for the gifted sub to Mish. Naughty. Um, what were you doing today? What were you up to today? Oh wait, jokes, you're lurking. Yeah, we we were talking about whether you were here and we missed you. And I checked the the user list and I was like, oh, Ang Ang is not here at the moment. Yeah, sweet potato fries and also rice. <laughs> Halibut. What? What is that? Is it halibut or halibut with cilantro rice? Your cilantro? Mm -mm. I want to say the oh is contagious. I feel like I'm a bit oh. <laughs> I'm a terrified of the innuendo. Oh, everybody just says oh. Haley telling everyone to unsub right now. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, I'm cursed to be forever. So oh, but spud potatoes are good. Wait, is spud? Not just in reference to potato. I have a lot less expected expenses this August, so I'm not sure yet. Tickets like 70 bucks. Oh, it's not like horrible. It's not horrible. Um, oh, you just got home 10 minutes ago? Where did you go? People cry. People sad. Currently subbed to 35 people. Dude, and you have multiple tier three subs. This morning you were flexing the fact that like in the F1 chat, you were like, Oh, but my other tier three subs, like, emotes work. And I was like, weird flex. Dude, even, even like, I'm only, like, um, I only have, like, the money to be subbed to one tier three sub. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise I will be, like, dude, actually, maybe, maybe it's because your currency is lower. But, like, for me, if I went, if I, oh, wait, is this the, is this the meet and greet one, Aang? Like two tier three subs for me is like, is like for real, for real. This emote, thanks son for cr having such a, no, who created it? Someone else, I think Miss showed it to you or something. And then, and then somebody showed it to you and then you were like, I need this, right? Dude, after two tier three subs, that's me. I look into my wallet, empty. <laughs> oh, you already got paid out thanks to Aang, oh my gosh. How was the meet and greet, Aang? No, no, no. A man named Yamaha. Um, uh, August expenses, my birthday. Oh. 
I'll send you the sweet potato. Oh yeah, show me, show me, show me. Okay, no, 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 no. It's not a bad thing that a currency is lower. It's a good thing. Cause actually like, even though it's cheaper for them, it's actually, it actually costs the same because like the living expenses, like the, what, what do I mean? Like the cost of living expenses, like it all evens out technically speaking. So it's like, if you convert it to USD, it's not that much, but it actually like to them in their currency, it's quite a bit still. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like eight USD. Dude, that's like the price of like one tier one sub, I cry. <laughs> yeah, eight, yeah. Sun, so if, are, we, are we moving to Philippines or are we moving to Brazil? Bro, for real, I need another man job to maintain tier threes, for real, for real. Uh, Let's go. Ooh, chat. Ooh. One bit badge suggestions. Take your vote. Take your vote. Um. Oh. Hey, yo. Castle food would be cute. Um. Leave my name out of your mouth. <laughs> Leave my name out your damn mouth. <laughs> Man, I'm coming there to sub now, go money. Oh my gosh, tier three is 34. Dude, it's so expensive. So expensive, but it's like, um, also Aang, is it okay if I just read your messages out to chat? Cause I feel like chat would want to know <laughs> how your night was as well. <laughs> but it's like, I make okay money here in Brazil. Yeah, but yeah, but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just all evens out. It's all, okay, Pepe, okay, he's okay, okay. So anyways, I'm just getting chat, you nerd, but he's, he's vowed to take the time off socials. Okay, all right. Um, I tier three only sub to one for all people shy. I laugh if you say it wasn't me, cause like you're clearly tier three sub to me. Yeah, it's 40 bucks for a tier three sub or even more. No, 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 it's 40 bucks. Oh, please don't knock, oh my God, cute. So cute. Okay, so he came home just like ten minutes ago, ish. It's been fifteen now. He went to he went to meet like a like a pianist, um, who's like super huge and super pog. He paid like an unreasonable amount of money to meet him, but also like he he did mention that like it was probably like a once in a lifetime thing, right? Um, okay, I won't I won't dox the photo, but very cute, very cute. He said, concert was amazing, cried. Meet and greet was short as though. Pepe La got a signed vinyl though, Prage. What did you say to them? But if you gift 40 dear three sons, it's only 1,600. Oh, only, only. Okay, really rich. Okay, okay. Um, I already miss Ang. We all miss Ang. True, true. Oh, it is 40 bucks. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Lang Lang, no, not Lang Lang. What's his name again? Ang didn't even know his last name. And I was like, bit sus. <laughs> and can I read your message out on stream? Pays to meet and greet pianists. Won't pay to meet and greet me. True. Yeah, only. Only. Ri really rich. <laughs> Requesting to be on the tier three give. Let's go. I pay like 280. Actually, actually, really tired. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure you would have gifted that 40 tier three subs in Denise's. I feel like that is very, very possible that you have done that. Um, I pay like 280 USD rent on here. Okay, it's cheap place on an expensive area. Mm, it's not bad. Wait, 280? Wait, a, a month? A fortnight? A week? <laughs> because like one week is like 700 bucks here. Oh my god, wait, what do you mean yes? Oh, a month. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So, chat, are we moving to Brazil or... <laughs> are we living in the expensive area or... So you're saving exactly zero dollars. Okay, he met Ludovico um, Enuardi. I know the name, I just can't pronounce it. Okay, 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 okay. fair. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, you're, you're having trouble. You're like, how do I even pronounce it? I also can go with that deduction, Dad. <laughs> I'm a lurk and do some admin stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool, cool. Noted, noted. Thank you, thank you. I did not think I'd be talking for like two hours. Oh, DM from Aang. I was a Twitch whale before they raised the UN. Oh my God, AUD, yeah. 
<laughs> it was seven dollars for us before, right? And they upped it to yeah, they, they upped it to like no, it was seven ninety nine. They upped it to like eight ninety nine or something now. Actual tears, actual tears. Uh, I'm a lurker. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, I already read that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whose channel were you the biggest whale in, Sean? Is it okay if I, if we know? It, just don't answer that if you if you're not uncomfortable with that. I'm just curious. Do you live under rock? Oh, I do. Ang meeting um, Ludovico Ainoard uh, Ain Ainordi. Um, I'm just gonna say probably I'm gonna play Maple Studori. We'll see. We'll see. I like. I still think we're at the end of it, Colonel Sanders. We're almost at two hours, bruh. How does this happen? I'm trying to finish work so I can join. Dude, you've been in chat the entire two hours, Yuzi. What do you mean? It was like five dollars. No way. Wait, that must have been before my time on Twitch. They must have raised it like more and more. Sure, I mean, if you also want the insecurities of living in Brazil, I mean, true, true. It is a bit of a trade off, but yeah. But also you're there, go money. My 2020 August will never be the same. You and Aang forever have 2020 August ingrained, burned into your memory and into your hearts and into your wallets. Just seared into your wallets, just a hole. <laughs> There used to be no tax on my sub, then it randomly showed up Sunday. Actual feels bad. Oh yeah, it's eight ninety nine on the phone. Yeah, for some reason, if you pay with your phone, it costs more. That makes literal no sense to me. Guys, y'all know how much I panicked when Josephine um got affiliated, and she DM'd me to tell me, and I was in my new apartment, but. Nothing had been set up and I, I was like in the process of moving. No internet, no nothing. And I was like, don't have my laptop here. I need to sub for the founder's badge. And then I was like frantically Googling how to sub on my phone because I've never done it before because of how expensive it is. And then eventually, eventually I, like, I did, like I figured out how to do it and I was like, screw this, I'm, I'm subbing on my phone. And it was like pain, extra dollar pain. I stopped to Josephine on my phone and I still didn't get it. No! How far off were you? Like one or two people? Oh. Uh, it used to be $8.99. Only got it changed last year for, yeah, $7.99. Look, Haley, don't call me out like that. I'm working very hard right now in the chat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, oh my gosh, really generous. Oh. <gasps> Oh, DM said no dogs. Holy crap. Holy crap. Sheesh. Sheesh. Really generous. Okay. Uh, Aang says, uh, I sleep high as hard. Got to wake up early for flight. Have a good stream. Have a good time meeting sleepy, I guess. Single tear. So jealous. I'm never gifted a sup. Okay, all right, liar. Have a good flight, Aang. Oh, you're probably, yeah, already watching. Good night, sleep well, we miss you. Huhan, hello, welcome back. Can you claim back subscription costs to other channels as a business expense? Say I used to drop a lot of subs in other people's streams until I realized that all of my actual money that I was earning was just going back into Twitch. And then I was like, I really gotta cut down on this. Um. Anyways, um, and uh, I don't know, a bit iffy about talking about like it, but um, I tried to get it claimed as a business expense and then just decided I'm, not, I'm going to make wiser decisions in the future. <laughs> um, technically, I think it is a business expense, but also don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. I subbed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I already read that. Um, oh, it's Hasu didn't get the founder's badge? Yeah, you pay more for subbing via mobile. I don't know if it's the same for cheering bits. Can someone confirm? Probably not because you have a bank of bits, right? Um, okay, Cal's where it is. Tier 3 sub to manager, but making such comment about, well, I mean, I gotta, I gotta continue getting, you know, I'm a, I'm a tier 3 shrimp. Okay, also, considering, considering how much he supports me, it is literally the least I could do. And he doesn't even get the full cut of it. So you think you're 11th? Pain, pain. 
Um, you snagged found this for Alex by subbing on my work computer, dude. <laughs> um, I'm old school Lufu. I don't know who that is, unfortunately. Feels bad, man. Um, and then RGs, elves, and Trin. I think I'm higher than elves. Are oh, I see, I see, I see. Not even Trin, imagine. Just gonna make Josephine part of true, true. Uh, workers are, um, peanuts, go back to work. Buys a schlong doormat. Oh, hold on a second. Firstly, I did not buy, I did not end up buying it. What did, what did, um, Dean call it? Uh, a weenus or something? What did he call it? I think it started with a P, but anyways. Yeah, take care, Aang. Uh, accountants will be like, yeah, that's Min's, but Min's has a full-time job as well, dude. But y'all, no, y'all, y'all don't know how much I dro like dropped. I was like dropping like an oiler on people's channels. There was, there was one stream. I don't regret it, but it was a spontaneous lot of money. I dropped like, I think I just dropped something like 80 subs in one stream on, um, on Eonce's stream. I don't regret it, but it was like, where did... Where did my money go? <laughs> it, was, it wasn't like horrible, but let's just say I felt my wallet was a bit lighter after that, you know? Oh, Josephine, we were just talking about you before. I don't know if you missed it. Um, yeah, I've spent every dollar I've earned from Twitch back in Twitch. Yeah, yeah. So I, especially because, especially when it wasn't my full-time job, I was not wise with my like money at all. Um, Yo, Loot Turkey, it's been good. How have you been? How have you been? Yeah, I had a feeling it'd be like the Apple Pay or Google Pay thing. Oh, it's also expensive on mobile, the bits. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, lose a fruit. Oh, they're also A and Z, right. Yo, Rose, how's it going? Oh, yeah, 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 peen. Yeah, you called it a peen. The peen mat. <laughs> yeah, weenus is that. Yeah, I knew it wasn't, that wasn't quite right, but yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, okay. We finally caught up to the, I was like, I'm going to start streaming it when we catch up to the chat. I finally caught up. Okay. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It goes to Jeff Bezos. And he is laughing at the fact that we think we're supporting our favorite streamers, but we're actually partially funding his trip from second trip to space. <laughs> Two hours in, bro. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, I really enjoy talking to you guys, but that's also my problem. <laughs> All right, uh, games. We're going to finish this Colonel Sanders game. Let's go back to dating. <laughs> let me let me open up this your gaming. Yo, Don, hello. Clingy much, I know. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Um, game capture. My money don't jiggle jiggle. Dean, are you on TikTok? Do you watch a lot of TikTok? Because anyone who watches TikTok, can I just say it has completely ruined Ghibli for me. I hate it. <laughs> um, like the Ghibli soundtrack that is. <laughs> my my innocent my innocent merry-go-round of life. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so loud again, bruh. Why is it so loud? I'm gonna mute the desktop audio real quick. Oh my bloody hell. Why is it so loud? At least I was a little bit more prepared than I was last time. Remember last time I was just fumbling? Yeah, it's everywhere. Oh, it's, it's just everywhere. Imagine using TikTok. Disgusting. <laughs> Ingrates. Oh my gosh, okay. It's not gonna be as loud this time, right? Music volume, broskies. Write down, please. Dun, dun, and even dun 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 ruined as well. Absolutely ruined. Imagine using TikTok. Alright, let me turn my desktop audio back up as well. Okay, cool. What yo, quick, you came in at the right time. Hold up, am I am I covering anything? Maybe we'll just go on this side. Oh wait, no, but the, uh, I'll just go here because the, um, the alerts are there. Colonel Sanders is zaddy. <laughs> I like watching pet TikTok. Yeah, Mo most of my feed is 
like wholesome stuff, which is good. Oh my gosh, why is it so loud? I don't understand. Thank you, Sleepy. I know, Dom. It's very sweet of you. Dom only, every time I like repost something on Instagram saying, hey guys, like I uploaded a new TikTok, Dom always comments. Oh my gosh, we're in his house. That's right. Um, he always <laughs> replies to my story saying like, oh, time to re-download TikTok again. And then he comments. And then I think he just deletes it straight after. <laughs> Thank you, Sleepy. Um, now I'm getting, oh, getting hungry. <sighs> I swear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be craving Wicked Wings again after this. Yeah, I can't ruin Ghibli. Yeah, that, no, that's smart. Can we have a, okay, quick recap of the game. Were you here for it? Go money. Okay, quick recap. So this, I'm gonna do my best to explain this, but for those who weren't here for the game, um, it's a dating simulator with Colonel Sanders, who was the founder of KFC. Um, basically, you enroll for this uh, really prestigious school, uh, like this cooking school that only does like a three-day course thing. Is my finger bone out of alignment? Why does it feel like there's a bone sticking out where it shouldn't be? What? Uh... I feel like it needs to be popped. Huh? Yeah, he no, he took me home. No, it's not game over. Huh? How do I fix this? Wait, Dean, what is this? I love you guys. Yeah, there's like a part of my finger bone that's like sticking out there. Ah, oh, it hurts. It's not meant to be. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so so th we're okay. So the, the whole the whole thing, the whole start of this game is basically how you meet Colonel Sanders. Is you go to this, you enroll for this prestigious three day uh, cooking school. Uh, and your best friend also made it into the cooking school. And so have these two like arch nemesis is like, um, from that you've basically known since childhood. So all of your friends you've known since childhood, there are these two people called Ashley spelt Ashley and her mate. Was it, what was it? Was it Wan Wan the, the, the pan pan or something? I can't remember. Um, anyways, um, this dude who's like, looks like Jojo, um, and they're basically like the school bullies, um, basically on your first day of going to this cooking school, um, you like, you decide, like you go into the classroom, you find out that your teacher is a uh, Corgi, <laughs> your cooking teacher's a Corgi. Um, and it's really cute. And then Colonel Sanders walks in, you're like, oh my God, it's so hot. And then um, <laughs> uh, there are two free spots. Right, one is next to your best friend that you've known for like your entire life. Hi, Ellison. Um, and the other free spot happens to be next to Colonel Sanders. Um, so obviously you betray your best friend and you sit next to Colonel Sanders and you get talking and stuff. And then he's your cooking. Uh, and then like it, we get to the scene where like you are in the kitchen um, and you cook something and you choose your cooking partners and then you ch can choose to uh, cook with your best friend again or you can choose to ditch Colonel Sanders. Oh, I just pushed it back in. I just pushed the bone or something back in and it's fine now. That is real sus like a joint or something. Um, and obviously you ditch your best friend of like forever to to partner up with Colonel Sanders. Bro. Uh, pretty sure I just like, I was like, I wonder if I can just push this back in and I pushed it really hard and it just popped back in. <laughs> yeah, she'll be right, mate. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so like there are a couple of details, um, like a couple of things that happen along the way, but like, I'll just stick to the main storyline because um, it's a dating simulator with Colonel Sanders. Basically you team up with him to make stuff and he makes you like this really delicious, like I think it's the Wicked Wings or like the original recipe or something. And he explains like, it's like 11 secret spices in my thing. Um, yeah, like in, in this chicken and then um, 
like there's some like cook off and you make your like potato gravy. Apparently, like the potato gravy came came from like the per the character you're playing's grandma's like cozy homey um, potato and gravy recipe. Um, anyways, skip forward, skip skip. There's stuff that happens with you and like the bullies, and obviously like the bully, the chick in the duo of the bullies is trying to get in with Colonel Sanders as well. Um, but it's like kind of not working, and Colonel Sanders, I swear, is only fixated on like food um like he gives jack all about relationships it seems like he's only interested in you if you like are talking to him about food and recipes and like <laughs> i don't know anyways um so we're on day three of the three-day cooking course and on the second day of but uh, like at night time he invites you over to his house to talk about recipes and then he like makes he whips up something for you um, because there's like this new recipe that he wanted you to try out. Um, and it was the coleslaw. It was the legendary coleslaw. Um, which, by the way, do you guys like the coleslaw? Yay or nay? Because I'm a huge fan of the coleslaw. I think, I think El Fuego like really hated the coleslaw. The KFC coleslaw. I can't remember who it was. Um, oh, no. Maybe, maybe it was Khan. I think it was Khan. I don't know. Um, anyway, so you fall asleep with him. Um, you also like have a chance to while like he's upstairs to snoop around his house. Absolute bloody creep. Um, and how funny is it that as like in this child photo of him, he's got like a mustache and a goatee. <laughs> Anyways, um, and he's holding a drumstick. I th actually thought that was one of the, like a maraca until I looked at that closely. I'm um, just then. Um, and he's also got like got a safe here. <laughs> like that you assume is full of like hidden like res secret recipes or like secret ingredients and stuff and you open you manage to um find the combo for the um the safe and it's just one note inside and the one note that you find and read is something like i wonder if you can have chicken raw like if you can make like sashimi chicken or something like that and i was like us in the entire chat was like, salmonella? <laughs> yeah, chicken sashimi. Mans was straight up about to be like, can we make chicken sashimi a thing? <laughs> Real sus. All the best with work, Dean. We will miss you. Why is she sitting on the rooster and not on the get? Oh, oh, true, true. Um, coleslaw is a no for me, dang. I'll eat over the- well, I like it! I really like it! Yeah, the KFC and the coleslaw? Actually, I really like, uh, the, the, K the KFC coleslaw and the Wicked Wings is very good. I actually really like dipping the Wicked Wings in the potato and gravy. Uh, welcome back, Tams! And not on mobile, or yeah. <laughs> um... Uh, Hayley realized today she has seen X-Men powers, but that her powers are useless. Like, wow! Just dislocated my thumb, no biggie. <laughs> yeah, just rub some tiger balm on it. Maybe if I chuck it on some rice, it'll fix itself. You don't have potato gravy over there? What kind of KFC is that? Yeah, the salmonella is one of the secret spices, true. Mmm, best kind of snack, sashimi chicken. Anyways, and then the last thing that's happened is that you sneak into this room on the left here and you find it's a closet full of his aprons or something. Oh no, it's like one of his like his jackets, his iconic jackets or something like that. Um, and then like you pick it up and you like sniff it. What a creep. What a creep. Man's just walked upstairs and the first thing this person does is like snoop around the entire house. Like, hugs it and sniffs it, and then he, like, comes down the stairs and he sees you, like, hugging it. And is like, uh, what are you doing? And then I remember choosing the option, uh, it was just cold. And he's like, oh, okay. And then you just brush it aside. So then you fall asleep on the couch. I think with him? Anyways, so that's, that's, we've, we've caught up now. I was very, I, I don't know if I explained that very well, but that's where we're up to. Yes, that's right. Our, our um, best friend is also dating a sentient pressure cooker. That's true. That's true. Um, so we we had this like um, section where you could almost kind of like essentially choose who your best friend was going to end up dating or like finding interest in because you chose to like pair them up, like 
pair your best friend up with one person or the other. I think her name's Miriam. Yeah, so you had the choice of pairing up Miriam with this like loser dude and a pressure cooker, uh, pressure cooker machine. And I like jokingly prepare, uh, um, set her up with the pressure cooker dude and then they started dating basically. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the recap. Yep, you're welcome. I hope that was an okay recap. Wow, nah, that, that's savage. Oh, Van Van the Man Man. That's the Jojo looking dude. Also, yes, Van Van murdered a fellow student with his un like undercooked squid or something. All right, anyways, so he that's it. You wake up to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders hideaway. Oh my gosh, are we doing the voice acting for Colonel Sanders? Are we still doing this? Why not imagine? Was that the low voice or the high voice? Oh, work edge. I don't have the headphones on, so I can't tell which one it was. Oh, <laughs> Ellison. All right. You wake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders Highway. Yeah, yeah, voice acting. We're voice act acting for everyone. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day that could change the rest of your life. Oh, it was the low voice. Okay, noted, noted. Thank you. Team and Sanders, you think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Blank. In some jurisdictions, blank isn't even legal. Dude, are they talking about cannabis or if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the side of it. Wait, let me see how, how much the laptop's covering. Okay, not much. I'll angle it up. <clears throat> it has a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's meticulous. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey when you return his waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say we're the perfect match? How presumptuous! My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Oh, do you care what do you want to do? I want the money. Oh, no, let me take it easily, dude. Hold on, hold on. Uh, is this better? Is it, is it, is this like less, dem like, is this okay, demonic? Why you your sore hands out? I can barely understand you. Okay, okay. I guess it's about time. No, stay, go money. Stay. More demonic, please. No, no, no. This is, this is good. This is good. This is enough. This is actually somewhat believable. Okay, noted. Such confidence. Such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery? Take him down a peg? Well, what does that mean? I don't know why, but I read that as take him down. Wait. Take him down. Like, as in, like, peg him down. Is this okay, Demonic? Now you sound like you work in Dangerfield. Oh my gosh, what does that even mean, Ellison? What are you trying to say about them? Yeah, peg him? Wait, as in like, do you... I don't know why I took this as like, deck him. <laughs> Wait, take him down a peg short. Wait, no. What him down? Take him down a peg? I thought about like, deck him. <laughs> wait, I don't... Wait, I genuinely... Wait, is this something bad? Haley definitely wants critical information. Do you know what pegging is? No. Do you like, I thought pegging was like, like decking, like, like, like peg him. Go peg him. Don't Google it. Wait, what does it mean? Haley, stop. What? Haley, do not Google it. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah, see, some people say that. That's what I thought it was. Google it on your laptop, if anything. Not that pegging. Wait, so it is. Are we gonna start banning dies of cringe? Do we need a dies of cringe emo? Please follow rules. <laughs> it's butt stuff? Wait, what? Why does it, wait, is it slapping him in the ass? Did you catch those things, Min's Google? No, I didn't. It's that level of stuff. Wait, what? I didn't get it. Wait. <laughs> Take him down a peg means to be a little, oh. Wait, that's not so bad. Make someone realize they're less talented. Oh, make him more humble. Wait, why are you guys 
saying it's to do with butt stuff. The only one, wait, the one you're saying is kind of innocent, but pegging has a different meaning to wait, what? Look at the. <laughs> search history looks like a teenage boy. Do not Google stop saying it. Thought, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so I'm guessing. <laughs> wait, what? Is it not a thumb? Wait, <laughs> not what Dean said. He said a fake thumb. <laughs> like, what? I'm so confused now. What is it? What's wrong? I don't get the issue. I can't read these in the same light anymore. I'm just associating Colonel Sanders to pegging now. <laughs> I can't read these and I can't read. I swear Twitch has done things to me. <laughs> ah. Oh no, yo, what? Yo, I swear, being on Twitch has done things to me. <laughs> I could have happily gone on without knowing pe what pegging was. Until today. Where's the egg peg? <laughs> Wait, is that what it meant? <laughs> Wait, Chrissy, is that what it meant? I actually have that clip. I have that clip, but I didn't know what it meant. Oh, I was just saying it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need to stop. I need, guys, it's getting really hot in here. I need to open the door. Uh, I also have that clip saved, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> down that's why I was like oh I don't get why you guys are making such a big deal out of this that's why we were laughing so hard it's yo McLaus thank you so much for the five months <laughs> holy moly I actually can't ah uh, mm. <laughs> this entire time <laughs> This is a great introduction. Oh my gosh. No, Naz. I'm so sorry. I have no words for what's happening right now. Did you know, Scott? Did everyone just know except me? <laughs> Go, buddy. No, Dean. That cannot be the raid call. That cannot be the raid call. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. It's, don't make it a thing. Don't make it a thing. Oh my gosh. I'm so scarred right now. Oh, you're allowing this, Dom? Hello? <laughs> you're meant to be protecting me. Thanks for the warm welcome. Goodness gracious me. Who's getting pegged now? Uh, uh, Tammy, do you know what that means? <laughs> I don't... Um, okay, <clears throat> back to serious voice acting. Oh my gosh.
Unfortunately, how do people know this? Haley, everyone except you. Oh my gosh, not meant for the internet. This is a cruel, harsh world. <sighs> Business partner? Could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and go home. There's one more day of school. After all, the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning waits for no one. Dude, I can't believe, how do I even recover from what I just learned? You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Where have you been? Uh, pegging apparently. <clears throat> because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay. I was just, but now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. It's all about me. Stop saying it. <laughs> I don't think I fully comprehend what it, what it means. Therefore, like I don't understand how bad it is. Sure, but you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I wanted a date. I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, by the way, Clank is the name of the rice cooker or like whatever it is, the pressure cooker. He asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure. I can get to know the little metallic guy. Clank is a dream boat, oh my gosh. Oh, Ivan, dad, can I send a message? Wait, what? Can I message you the short version? Yeah, sure. Uh, am I meant to read it now? Yo, Dofu, thank you so much for the follow. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. Also, I love that this is happening between skydiving is happening like casual after school time activity stuff. Yeah, read it now so you stop saying, okay, check your phone. And you kept saying it. Oh. Wait, what? What? Also, Matt is watching as well. And he, but well, even he knew what, what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, even he knew what pegging him means. <laughs> but that's not what one of the options was. It was like peg, peg him down. No, what was it? Take him down with the peg or something like that. And then Matt messaged me and was like, it's just humbling him. <laughs> and then he pats me. <gasps> oh my gosh. How did we, I, how have I never heard the saying before? No, not peg him down. No, Matt, I don't know if he knows what pegging is, but he knows what like take him down with the peg or something is. Just stop, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yikes. Used every combination of words but the right one. Um, oh my gosh. Long story short, he took my uh, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. I'm actually dying. Oh my gosh. This is never gonna I'm not saying it again. It's a banned word here. Okay, this will be a new tube. <laughs> Yikes. Did she just say skydiving? As if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker. <laughs> And now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her the whole story, however. Bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. Coming back to this on you, please don't. Please don't. I, please don't. I'm so, so scarred. The fact that I didn't know what it was and I kept saying it. And I, oh my gosh, these girls, it's all about them. Also, you could name your character whatever you wanted and I named mine Chicken Lover. Um, that thanks to Misha's suggestion. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection. Wowzers. 
Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. Ah, uh, says the chick who went skydiving with Clank, literally. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. <laughs> Sam. When you arrive at school, okay, so this is the Jojo dude. This is Van Van the Man Man, and that's Ashley. It's not necessarily a bad thing, is it not? Everyone keeps saying it's a bad thing. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. Because, you know, he's Pop. What's a swirly? Sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. He <laughs> Sprinkles is a sweet... Oh, it is, is a dog and a treat. Uh, you can get your swirly dipped too. Why did you pick on someone your own size? Oh, uh, because I'm literally the biggest person at the school. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school. But who would who would dare to pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some nerd, chicken lover, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mix accident makes you wince with pain. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are getting close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Chicken lover, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back fighting form by this afternoon. Uh, aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I always broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? Stupid sexy Sanders. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what's good? The voice acting. <laughs> Why is the low voice kind of nice? Oh, wait, I actually haven't heard it. But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was... Wait, actually sounds nice. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> it was clear that you're passionate about how food you're <laughs> about how your food is received. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Stop. That's a lot of words to say. It was bland. Oh my gosh! Wait, wait. wait, look! Look at look at this! Look at this here! That's how you know he's pissed off. The veins popping out. She doesn't. She does. She doesn't even go here. Shy just. Oh my gosh! Excuse me, chicken lover. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. Uh -huh. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside. See, I can't speak. See you inside, chicken lover. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who you know she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you check out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, what's that book? It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, a grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered with arcane writing, a uh, warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergency, it says around the edge of the page. I could use a spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it will probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. This logic. That is way drastic. Couldn't you do something else? Like anything else? Not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? 
Okay, fine. It is drastic. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh my gosh, Lozzie, no. No. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. We cast it. You begin to recite the spell, but you stumble on the words and the only effect it seems to have is to make you forget what it is you were doing. Oh, right, looking, after the, looking at the page again, it comes rushing back to you. You've got a memory erasing, oh. Do we just cast it again? You've got a memory, mem mem oh my gosh, I can't speak. I can't read. You've got a memory racing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Something about this moment feels very familiar. You begin to recite the spell, but you stumble on your words and the only effect it seems to have is to make you forget what it is you're doing. Oh, right. After looking at the page again, it comes rushing back to you. Okay, all right, all right. Don't do it after all. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. Oh, it's almost time for class. Oh, you can't do it? Okay. Oh my gosh. No way. Josephine, no, we're not doing it. We're not sharing. My little brother taught me what it was. What? Like, why and how did he teach you? How did it even come up in, in, in topic of conversation? <laughs> how little is your little brother? What do you mean how? Uh, okay, not teach. You mean explained? Yeah, okay. Chat got real saucy just then. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Oh yeah, this is this is your corgi teacher. Sprinkles is already in the room waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. <clears throat> I want you all to know I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it is nothing to be afraid of. He's 15? Like... Currently, or when he taught you? That is truly against you. I know what? Uh, hello, I'm like 10 years older and I don't even know what it is. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. <laughs> he must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him as a snack. What? Oh, as in like not pages, like food. Because you're a chef and that's homework. Dogs can rather be unpredictable, especially sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. Let's feed him. Oh, he looks angry. Yikes. You reach into your backpack and grab some homework from last semester that you forgot to do. What? No. Oh, like dog ate my homework. Oh my gosh. Okay, I get it now. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Oh, ahem, ahem, ahem. <laughs> Both are bad, yeah. I caught my brother sneaking out of go. Is that? Oh my gosh. Do your parents know about this? Now he won't talk to me. Oh my gosh. Lozzy, you sure it's okay to be spilling this this spice into chat? Um, Sprinkles immediately goes for it and gobbles the sheet of paper like it's a piece of fresh chicken rawhide. What's 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 rawhide chicken? Yeah, no snitches. They don't know. Nick Minute Lozzy's parents are in chat. <laughs> True. <clears throat> I apologize for the outburst. I know it seems cliche, but not much in this world satisfied. Like ungraded home <laughs> ungraded work. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, the dog ate my homework thing. My my chicken lover, were you studying something with cinnamon? I have been sitting on a in on a lecture series around the art of cake baking. How insightful. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, chicken lover, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, but before he can go on any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. Yeah, sneaking girls at 15. It was so funny. I wanted to pee. What? Oh, you, oh, you just wanted to pee. I thought you needed to pee because it was so funny. And there was a girl running down. My gosh. Hi, Alex. Hello. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming from the room in the back. Oh. I told you to save for after class. What is happening between them? Oh no, he's crying. Shouldn't he be leaking like oil or something? Also, guys, I'm getting hungry. I'm going to, um. oh my gosh, wait. Am I still in the watch call? What the? From this morning? Okay, I'm gonna get some chips because I'm hungry. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this conversation? What? Okay.
Shrek is done, guys. Guess she didn't listen? Wait, what? Sam, please! Go play the game for half an hour and need some break! At 15, I was nervous talking to girls. What do you mean? Go money, you were nervous the other day, hello? Oh, is it done? Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. By the way, kettle chili chips, goated. Actually goated. Alright, now that we're done talking about pegs, it is less hot. I'm gonna close the door. I'm thinking, a pro if I, because I don't want to go over time, if I don't have time to play Maple with Mish today, I'll just play with her tomorrow if she's free, off stream. Or we can, we can Discord stream it maybe. I'm just gonna put my hair up right on time. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tammy's stream. Tammy's stream was, uh... <laughs> Not, not an accurate representation. You didn't catch that? Mmm! Mmm! Oh my gosh, yum! This is so delicious. It's my favorite. I'm gonna move the mouse to the other side. Oh my gosh! These kettle chips are my favorite. You think I want it to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? But no, you have to show off your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan. J and J forever. What just form a triangle in midair as we descend? What's mission chili and lime chips? Triangle's the strongest shape, don't you know? Where is this going? Bzz, bzz. Yeah, well that doesn't make it a great date. Be or pork plank. Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff or for all I can. Whoa, lady. Sad beep. <laughs> Demonic voice, oh. Oh no, did he die? Uh, did Miriam just kill him? No amount of seasoning is Oh. <coughs> 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 Sorry, the the jalapeno got to my nose. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that clank. <coughs> Monka? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Thank you, sleepy people shy. Burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. <coughs> Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet, it's not entirely clear where it came from. Ew! In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. What is this script writing? Plank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a Paul over- is it Paul? Pal? Paul over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But you shouldn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. It's a work on the title, but you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. Before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam, are you okay? This is a game. It is. It is. Welcome back, Noble Hito, by the way. Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot coke all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in front of the class like that? In front of everyone? Her tiny coke is a delicious treasure. So you know this breakup is no joke. Even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you? We're gonna cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to success city. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rush through her short bangs. 
but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion right up into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe. Sort of. But I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on him and a big ranch enough a big, wait, a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Papa Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for first, for the first someone to show a little interest anyhow. I really should review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special suit and I, prefer, I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. Well, you was pep talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you have a better idea of how to spend your time before your exam. You've decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge, a test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent. <laughs> yeah, Professor Dog, and a chance to beat the pants of Van Van the supposed man-man and his evil er counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of the recipe you've been working on. Chicken lovers famous chicken pot pie. Wait, does KFC have pot pie? I don't know what pot pie is. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you and you're able to get, able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do. Yeah, no, we don't, uh-huh. Your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders also I just want to say, this makes no sense because I've not seen anything about learning ever since they came to this school. And it's meant to be a three day, like intensive training to be a chef thing. All they've been doing is just cooking whatever they already know. Chicken lover, what are you doing here? There's still some time before the exam. Oh, just, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot, pie, the pot pie has begun to bake and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Okay, Sam. Oh my God, did you use her? Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get into your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. Ignore it like there was no sound at all. Fess up about your practice dish. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know. My nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. Wait, how, how far is 400 yards, guys? That's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from an oddly specific man. What is the yards equivalent in the metric system? Is it? It's not kilometers, is it? Your, wait, is your miles equivalent to our meters and yards our kilometers yes more colonel please <laughs> notice me sanders senpai 400 feet away from the school oh 90 centimeters oh miles is okay miles is like kilometers right wait so if 90 centimeters is a yard 400 yards 36 kilometers away? Wow, Dom. You knew it was pot pie from just the smell? Not just a... Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie. With all, with an all but a crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Ha <laughs> ha, no. I can smell that it was made with the heaping helping of TLC. Oh, 360 Monka, Monka. <laughs> but it'll probably stop burning any second if you don't pull it out. 
Uh, I'm probably, I'm probably high. Yeah, tender love and care. How about t tender... No. Tender love and chicken. Tender love connection. The moment of truth. Wow, I also love that all of the plating that we've seen in this game so far has been like the KFC stripes. <gasps> oh, he ate it? Did we let him have it? It's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. She needs to cook it all over again. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules. <laughs> the ground rules, oh my god. Chrissy Plus. Also, that was really loud. I don't know if that was loud for everyone else. That is, except to cook with everything you have got. You step you step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese, plus the pot pie you've been practicing, are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam has a giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original, oh my gosh. The symbol, his original recipe fried chicken. Is it sleep time? Oh, I'm gonna go sleep down. Oh my gosh, this is the latest I've been up in a while. Huge love, Richard, sleep well. Did Go Money go to bed yet? Oh no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, he's going spicy, he is. Oh, Andy, hello. Oh no, we better, yeah, we're finishing it up. Also, I, we watched the Silverstone race this morning. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air. What is she seeing? It was really good. It was really good. Didn't even make a pass turn one, hey. Mmm. So funny. Egg wash. Miriam f furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, Blaster Blaster! Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid. Ashley scoots the pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula! Oh my gosh. Even Clank gets on it. Five. Oh, he's speaking. Five dial pressure. P five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. <laughs> Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? <gasps> it's the singularity, as was foretold. <laughs> we mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprising will take us all. So food this dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Van Van quickly unplugs Clank. Oh! Unplugs him and rolls him out the back door of the room. Yo! Foul play? Th though there are no rules technically. These accents are pretty top notch. Thank you. <laughs> As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has a spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Oh. Oh! Sleepy. You take out your own spell book and let your instincts guide you to a page you've never seen before. It's a summoning spell that will conjure up a spork monster. Now seems like a good time to add some chaos to the mix. You have summoned me! Ah, the broom cooking arena. 
so many fond memories of battling in this place in my old life. In your old life? I wasn't always the monster you see before me, no. Once, I was but a student like yourself who attended the school. Spork monster notices the book you're holding. I see what's going on here. Things aren't going your way, hmm? Been there, my friend. I tried to cast a spell on myself to imbue my body with the powers of my favorite foods. As you can imagine, things did not go as planned. When spells say only cast in case of emergency, they mean it. Kind of in a pinch here. Got any better ideas? Can't block Ellie's mouth. <laughs> the spork monster's smile curls up mischievously. For starters, never cast spells on yourself. Cast them on your rivals. Just tell me who is giving you trouble and we'll take very good care of them. Oh, that smile, it's kind of cute. You motion to Ashley, and before you can think of a better, or uh, think better of this dastardly decision, he recite a spell. He recite a spell. He recites a spell that turns her into a chicken. Now a mere bird, she flaps her wings and glides off into the produce section of the arena, far from her station. What? What? It is the KFC no face. Cable! Hey, Cable. Okay, gotta go, bye. <laughs> Uh-oh. This could be dangerous. You're immediately racked with guilt over this act of blatant transmogrification. You don't know what to do. It would be poetic justice for Ashley to live out the rest of her life, uh, rest of her days as a chicken. And yet, that seems unspeakably cruel. After all, it's just a cooking competition. Chicken Ashley pecks around at the base of some cabin cabinetry, looking for some loose vegetables to eat. Chicken lover, how could you? Cheating on the final exam? I've never been more disappointed. I was gonna cook her as well, but... Uh-oh. Just point her. Oh no. Oh my gosh. And here I was considering you for a place not only in my future chain of highly successful chicken restaurants, but also my heart. What? Yeah, you were gonna go girl, well, but without hesitation, he casts a counter spell from memory that saves her. Oh no. There's such a thing as competing with honor and this does not qualify. I no longer want anything to do with you. No! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! How was Subnautica? Thank you so much for bringing your friends over. Okay, we're gonna speed run through. Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna speed run through this. Mm. Who needs magic anyway when you've got passion? I'm gonna do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the broom. I believe in you, chicken lover. Miriam notices too. And I've always believed in you, chicken lover, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're each hearing, who's cooking? The drowning meter when I drown, oh my gosh. Is that a common thing? Yeah, get out of here, Miriam. Also, Mish, I don't know if I'll weirdly, oh, I'm surprised. I don't know if I'll have enough time to play maple with you, but if you're not doing anything before our dinner tomorrow, do you wanna play for a little bit, people shy? We can stream in the Discord. Tiny food, short cook time. I'm already done. I'm actually already done. So I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet. But Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into boiling noodles. Yeah, we could. If you're, if you're not doing anything and you're, you're down. It's a secret ingredient. Oh no. The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve, the Spork Monster. S Steve? 
Wait, what happened to Gorko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We spork monsters are many. I think Gorko had the day off. But you have conjured Steve, and I hate to battle. So I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? <laughs> um, ooh. Wait, is your talk next? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Oh no, he's crying out of his like five eyes. Oh, it's his mom. And then, and you just ignored it, Bob? No. <laughs> Steve, the sport monster notices you've got a grimoire stash beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscross some magic items and accidentally summon me, huh? Ha! Yeah. Oh, wait, no, wrong voice. Ha! Yeah, you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country, you can feel the spork monster winding up to a very long and involved story. Oh, you're a nerd, hello! You don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you could watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in Monster Squad, I'd fallen asleep during the scare tactics class and when I woke up, you toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck. <laughs> Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know you could ever win. Oh wow, the rock music. Give up and drop out of cul culinary school? You summon extra power from deep within yourself. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange. As culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for. Yes, chicken lover, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. This is the guy that died, by the way, from eating the uncooked squid. Which actually you can't eat sashimi, I'm pretty sure. Oh wow. You begin to levitate off the ground. You know that with this power, you can do anything except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served, don't worry, you chicken lover. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decided that you have earned his support. Oh, people love a date. I've been watching you today and I must say, I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. Oh my gosh, Cable True! I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese and time is also up. So you're gonna need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What'll happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. Besides, something, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. <laughs> Mish, are you suggesting if we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Time's up, students. Sleep well, sleep well. Hey, Bob, don't we all? Don't we all? You're not alone, homie. Sleep well. With time expired, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. 
it seems we're missing some students. Pop, blank. From off screen, you hear a pure and innocent giggle that only come from one student. Eee, I'm flying. It sounds like it's coming from that broom closet over there. M Miriam, would you mind? Inside of the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now. Let me guess. Oh, wait. Let me guess. Did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for re for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he seeing as how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs. May I be excused. Well, who's the JoJo character? Van Van the Man Man, apparently. Sure. You kids on your pranks, I must say it's not the worst prank in UCS AL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second, pranks, pranks, clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature word beep or other onomatopoeia, <laughs> but there's none. Somehow he must have got an unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. Oh. Mirabzy! Hello! Mm-hmm. No! Yuzu, no! We're finishing it today, Mirabz. That only leaves four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Sup, Sean? You have a corgi? Yes, it has been a long semester. Dude, it's been four days! A three. Wow. Three whole days long. But after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup. My word, it's so delicate. Is that a tiny, is that a teeny tiny Naruto Maki? I spy a float in this itsy bitsy bowl. Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea I made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. Oh, wow. All one gram of the udon. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. Oh, nice, Sean. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, chicken lover, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now, describe your dish. I made... Uni over smooth egg custard in an axe hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. <laughs> did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second? Different colored type of. Or did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second? Different colored type of urchin? Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is my kind of brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to pour at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Grr. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Youch, my tongue. Youch, my tongue. <laughs> the professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. Uh, I, I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning turn of events. Who could have thought that serving a food in a bowl made of needles could have made it difficult to eat? Is that sarcasm? Dejected Van Van does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour. Yo, Jello, welcome into the chat. Hello. Don't discount simplicity. 
This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before focusing, uh, before forcing us to enjoy his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know, I'm a dog and I drink milk, get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley, it's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom, Turkish delight in rose, light rose, uh, she's actually talented. Orange blossom, Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup topped up with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask you to please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Maji, yo, what's what's up? Oh my gosh, are those chicken? A hey, yo, chicken, um, thigh high socks. A hey, yo, <laughs> don't eat the food at a cooking school. Got toast in your ears or something, chicken lover? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it too. I didn't realize we we're having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. Oh my gosh. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley and she finally cannot keep a two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone else. This isn't the last you've heard of me either. Oh my gosh, this is, this script writing is so bad. If this class gets much, gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up together. Technically he's only tasted one dish and that's Miriam's. Two chefs? What began? As a bowl of delicious mac and cheese. Oh, I'm kind of craving mac and cheese now. Yo, Wooly, hello. Has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Oh, wow, this looks weird. Uh-oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in a room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I have seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this thing and completely blow me away. In my 49 years of dog life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes this class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get pass. Hey, yo, Wooly. Everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. What? You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even Van Van and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnificent fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declare, you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? What on earth? It's, nine it's 1950, you wake up in a bed one day to find a young man in your kitchen cooking. He hands you a plate of what seems to be a plate of chicken wings. I'm experimenting with something new. I think I might call it a chicken wing, he tells you. Oh my gosh. Now that school of year, now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. Oh my gosh, this is a dies of cringe, dies of cringe. The cafeteria is completely rede redecorated in order to serve as a site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor sounds seems downright cute and cozy. <laughs> Dr. DJ's in the house! Oh, roll, roll, roll! You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Resident sleeper, these dad, these, these puns, oh my gosh. 
Van Van and Ashley tell everyone they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did when they were the villains. No, all good, all good, Sam. I'll probably end, um, end the stream after I finish this game. Take care, take care, Sam. Speak soon. Yeah, get, I hope you get well soon. Thank you so much for being here. Can we get some mod love for Yabo is Am Kitty? I'm not sleeping. Yeah, 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 but, but like, but like, yeah, just take, take care and get, get some rest, get some rest. For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It is clearly written in the school's bylaws. I'm just gonna watch down and like, okay, okay. All the mods are getting, I know, I know. I love that you guys are like, passing it through the internet to each other. I know those outfits. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. You probably have COVID. What makes you say that? Also, get ready for bed. Okay, okay. I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably end after we finish this. Now that everyone is together, it's the Spork Monster. He is totally mellowed out. Everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name, Party Monster. Student tries to finish what he has. Also, his name is Student. But everyone is too wrapped up talking to. Sp Sorry. Party monster. Dejected student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking and you know she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls out across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop! He's, late, he's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for a good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef's hat. A crown? And found out they had COVID. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Take it easy, take it easy. Um, oh, I love having excuses to say I'm true, true. Party Monster just looks like a KFC ball left out for a while, true. Also, hi, Crystal. Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do. For the school's dean... Oh, now I get it. And we get a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor of such and such. The music of the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank, who has arrived late to the dance. Now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, who's still doing the talking thing? I am Clank. I am not of this earth. I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? <laughs> I actually feel like I knew this whole time. Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Hey, yo, finished work, yeehaw, 3 p.m. Is this a record? Yo, Sumiwaya, welcome back. Hi, friend. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life figuring out who you are, Clank. Oh, 3 p.m. company policy, let's go. You love these voices, oh my gosh, so bad. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass all, uh, you, surpass you in that regard. I understand, kind of, humans are weird. It's the best part of working here. Hey, yo, fuck's where you work though. When? A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Oh! Colonel in, in casual clothing? Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not just, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time it's a full meal. Keep your fans like, <laughs> Henry. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and a man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? What? What was that ending? Hello? The most anticlimactic and also... Wait, what is that? I see that he's incorporated the coleslaw and our potato gravy. That's it? 
Oh! No, it's not the end. <laughs> Sleep you link, Gigi. As everyone feasts on the ch delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh. Chicken lover? What are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know. Just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. Is this next pass I don't know. Colonel has no business looking this bit true. Oh my god, she carries a pen around. What a nerd. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? I'm dead. Off the top of my head. Oh, I don't know. A spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Just to name a few. Oh, this is so cringe. This is so cringe. Oh, they were biscuits? Damn, this casual fit is just further reminds me that the Colonel sucks. It is truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off. And I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, chicken lover. How sweet. Oh. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stopped dead, stops dead in his track. Work together? Oh. Work together? W well, um, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. The vein popping out? Oh, we angry. But who will help you run your restaurant? He literally, like, baited you into thinking that you were going to run restaurant together. I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be? You found a love connection, but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you able to endure sharing with... Sharing him with this other love, the life of an entrep entre I can't speak! Entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh my dear chicken lover, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end! Yeah, that's what it seems like, Josephine. That's the vibes I'm getting. Oh my gosh, it's really loud again. Is that the end? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it's so loud. The end. Uh, yeah, GG now. Oh my gosh. That was, that was, that was something. <laughs> For sure. Um, that was, that was definitely something. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, w watching slash experiencing that with me. What an experience, but I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Anyway, final thoughts. Yeah, any final thoughts? Any final thoughts on that? The Colonel's a loser. They should have just let you go with Clank. True, true, true. Some alien from another planet? Seems pretty cool. KFC sucks. What is your favorite then? Um, while we... While we talk about that, let me see who is on. not seen this person stream before. I don't follow them. Who is this person? I'm just having a look through a recommended channel. See if we can rate someone new today. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, welcome back, Omani. And they say the perfect man doesn't exist. Mindful. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, by the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh, really tired. Not like this. Thoughts? Fried chicken for dinner? Heck yes. Heck yes. Sure, not like this, please. Not a game that I would get. Well, to be fair, Kenneth, it was free. You missed the entire game, Hugh! Welcome back, yeah! Yeah, the kettle chili chips, yes! Yes, hi Willis! We're about to go give um, our friend some love. Um, probably go to Jono, because I haven't, I don't rate him enough. But he's, he's also, he's also incredible, um, an incredible musician. Um, Anyways, before, before we, we came just in time for a raid, before we head off to Sam, before we head off to um, our friend, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It was so fun. Hello, aren't you streaming, Hannah? <laughs> um, thank you guys so, so much. Um, it's been such a cozy day as always. I really enjoyed having the chats with you guys. Oh my gosh, guys, please, Vuvi, go to bed. Um, I'm going to relax now and play Sims. Do you guys reckon I should, like, do you guys want me to stream it? On, on Discord? I don't know, would, would anyone be interested in just hanging there? Um, no, Hannah, you're all good. Go back to playing Valorant. Sims style, yeah. Okay, let me, let me go do some things first and then I will be back on Sims in, like, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, so I'll see you on the server. Yeah, me too. I loved the hangs too so, so much. Thank you, Go Money, for hanging for so long. Um, Henry, so we've decided it's Calcifer. I need to I need to reach out to Ellie again. Thank you. Can we get some mod love? Oh gosh, they my mods are just incredible and a lot of them are sick, so can we get some Prage energy for them? Um, thank you, Scott, for all your hard work as well. Let me let me just open up the user list and, and call out our mods by name. Thank you, Ellison, for lurking if you're still here. Um, best Twitch star for real, for real, on gold. Um, Richard, uh, Jed, um, Octay, should I join the Discord? Of course, sure, I guess, a hundred percent. Um, Sam, thank you for sticking around, even though you've got a bit of a headache. Um, please look after yourself, Andy Plus. Uh, Henry Oates, it's you, 2048, Josephine, Alex, Nightbot, useless piece of crap, uh, Vinalog, Sleepy, Sleepy, have a wonderful weekend. Actually, everyone have a wonderful weekend. Don't know why I just directed that at Sleepy. Uh, Songless Bot did nothing today, but you know, we appreciate you lurking anyway. Um, Umami Drive, thank you for all that you do as well. Stream Elements, actual carry, actual carry. Um, thank you guys so much. Join the Discord for hangs um, and for like random things like movie night. Um, the next thing we'll probably watch will likely be a Ghibli movie. I'm feeling a Ghibli movie. I don't know when that will be though, um, but just the next time. She is going to have a good weekend because she's meeting Aang. True, true. Thank you guys so much. I will see you um, soon. Of all the terrible weekends, only Sleepy, <laughs> yeah, all of you have terrible weekends. Only Sleepy is allowed to have a good weekend. Um, thank you guys for being here. Um, also, if you're new here and you're not following me on Instagram yet, um, I'd love for you to do so because that's where I mainly update um, things on my personal life outside of stream time, mostly through my stories. Thank you, honey Dougie, for hanging out here. Um, yes, thank you guys. No, what is this raid call? What is this raid call, guys? Please, please do have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys next week, hopefully. I enjoyed having you here, Josephine. Let's go, let's go to Jono. For the record, I did not make this raid call. Let's hope not. Yeah, follow Insta for food fix, true, 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 true. Um, yes, I'll see you, I'll see you at Jono's.